seed than a tree. Born in a campfire, Mama was Kent of Bonnie Parker, man, Papa was a live wire. Baptized in sin, sinners got no choir. The following images were captured between 2014 and 16 while attempting to set a world record with a rickshaw, the Peacemaker. She was stopped by police over 200 times. Watch how they handle encountering this unidentified craft and the confusion understanding the First Amendment right to travel, free speech, and our religious rights to equal protection and due process of law. Picture me, I'm, I'm, I'm Who sorry. are you? I have security. I oh, okay. Huh? Oh, I'm leaving. I can be on the sidewalk though, right? I need to. Uh, this is for Senate parking. Senate parking. Senate parking. Oh! Oh, okay. Senate parking? Yeah, buddy. All right. Just say. I don't have to give you that. You don't have to give me your name or anything? I give you my badge number. What is your badge number? 91023. All right, buddy. All right, we'll do. I uh, just want peace, and we just want our senators to enact the law to help us stop the heroin and the pill epidemic. It's killing way too many people, and we need to do something about it. Right on, man. I gotta, gotta ask you, and don't take the picture of me. operation is all about for medical marijuana, absolutely. I'm okay. supposed to go uh, testify here in uh, Charleston. Okay. You an attorney or you just like... I, no, I'm an activist. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm an activist, a lead activist here and I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence Seibel. Lawrence Oh yeah, Lawrence Seibel is my... my Real name? Uh, I Yeah, my name is Ross Idle. That's my spiritual name. And uh, I'm trying to get to North Carolina, actually, but it's not working because, you know, because of the cannibal ants, and I'm just, I'm trying to kind of hitchhike with it, too. And uh, it's more to raise awareness for a guy who's going through a trial down there for medical marijuana trying to raise it for his daughter who's dying of cancer. And so we're trying to raise awareness all over the country. And I'm just part of the West Virginia movement here. I've got a lawsuit in Charleston. And uh, we're, we are trying to bring a criminal charge against our justices, uh, uh, the prosecutors and judges and officials because of the pill epidemic. Everybody's dying. There's ODs everywhere. I can't. This flag here stands for a, 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 a friend of mine's best friend whose mom died of OD here. This one here is for a quadriplegic veteran who uses medical marijuana. Oh no, yeah, I can put it up over here. Come on. Well, hey, he might. Yeah, I think he's going. If you don't care, just move it up just a little bit. Yeah, he can get in here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm just passing. I'm on my way back home now. Okay. All I'm doing, I'm going home and to get back to my uh, crying family. They'll miss me, and I miss them too. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, my main thing is, do you have anything on you that you're not trying to sell anything no, right sir. now? No, no, sir. Not? No, absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, so they know me better than that. The whole community knows me. They know me in Charleston. I have delegates who are friends. I've testified in front of city council, in front of uh, uh, Marshall University students, uh, with Professor White. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. We're not out here to help any trouble with any illegal drug selling or anything like that. Okay. Well, obviously, I don't know you, so I just yes, want sir. to check. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. You don't, you don't yeah, have absolutely, anything, man. You don't have no, no, we're not selling right drugs or nothing. You bring your dogs, you anything you want, man. Okay. We're, we're good. We're clean here. This is my, my knapsack, my food, my water. You got on uh, Yes, I do. ID. Here it is. 
I've had to rearrange everything because I wasn't supposed to be going, uh... You, uh, you a former Marine? Or you well, no, the guy, I'm former Navy. My whole family's Navy. we got three generations of Navy. Okay. And the guy who I'm trying to, oh, the guy who I'm trying to raise medical marijuana for is Curtis Joe. You can find him here on Facebook. W, uh, V for MMJ. And he's a Marine. And, uh, he's an impartial project crew because he has use of one hand. And the only thing he can do is, uh, uh, to communicate with the world is through his iPad and stuff. And it's sad. I mean, he's a very intelligent guy. Everything's there but his body. Uh, he was, he was going back to do a tour in Iraq. And uh, he was in a car accident. And, uh, yeah, so it's his second tour. And, uh, he was in a car accident and got burned up. Uh, and God bless his heart, man. So yeah. we're out here. I'm out here for his family, for all of them. We're fighting drug abuse, heroin, methamphetamine. I'm a former meth addict from 1983, and cannabis helped me quit it and never touch it again. And uh, I was a former business owner. I lost my business at the Cadillac Ranch in Pendleton County, West Virginia. It was a got a dance club. I lost everything over three ounces of marijuana. So, you know, I'm passionate about this. My mother has died from cancer. My namesake, who I was named after, died of cancer. I've got friends dying of cancer. The war's got to end, you know, and, and everybody's coming together. I can roll up in front of the police station and have police in Huntington going like this, yeah, because they know I'm trying to fight this drug war. I'm on the good guy's side, man. We're not trying to hurt anybody or do anything like that. Yeah. So, I know, I know. It's, it's so new here, and people are still conservative, but this is a raising of way. I've had probably my picture taken a hundred times today. People supporting what I'm doing. Quite like this, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I've had this at the state capitol building at the steps of the Charleston. Okay. We had a couple guards meet us there, and they were all cool, and they thought there would be like a whole army of, of this disgruntled people, and we won. It was just me and the Curtis Job in his wheelchair and his mom. Okay. And they were like, and they were veterans. And by the time we left, they were like supporting medical marijuana too. You know, people were just trying to get educated. If they go to this blog right here, WV for MMJ, uh, it'll show you who I am. Who I'm battling for is kids with uh, different syndrome, uh, kids with cancer, uh, uh, Crohn's disease. I've had police officers come up and thank me what I'm doing. Yeah, man. This, this is not a drug movement. This is nothing like that. This is about uh, a medicine. A medicine. It's curing cancer. People don't know about the endocannabinoid system. I'm out there trying to t teach them about that. Uh, we've got two types of cannabinoids, CB1, CB2. And the type that these kids need of marijuana uh, it doesn't even have THC in it. It's so low that you could smoke a, a tractor trailer load and it wouldn't even get dry. So, you know, and, and so low is CBD that uh, it's CBD isn't what affects your the high, so to speak. So, yeah, we're raising awareness. We're raising, I had a certificate from the mayor and, and someone in town here um, destroyed my cannibal act. Yeah. yeah, they broke my certificate off the mayor. I come up here this morning, they were laying on the side, they broke my cross off. I ran to him and I asked him could I leave it there. He said yes, and so I parked it there. And I come back this morning and it was laying on the side. And then, yeah, and uh, they kicked it over and broke this off. I had a certificate from the city of Huntington right here to advocate for our group, medical marijuana. We sell these T-shirts right here, and uh, they tore that sign down. Luckily, I had all my cameras off. Listen to me, okay? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Thompson, by the way. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Listen. As far as what you're doing, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, you have the right freedom of speech and all that stuff. Everything's good. You have to have a business permit if you want to sell anything like a bottle of water or oh, yes, money, anything like that. You know, you know what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, I did it. I do it in the city of Hunter. Absolutely, just like. Uh, yeah, I'm just following the rule. I just need to come okay. here. All right, yeah. that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Sure. Uh, all right, God bless you. Now, as far as someone destroying your car here, they'll pay for it when, when their time comes they go to hell. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Just they, they know there's a, there's a good way to do stuff. And yeah, right now you're you're fine.
Okay, I'm flying. Peaceful, and I'm marching right. by myself. Thank okay. you, gentlemen. All right, have a good one. Yes, sir. Thank you. First walkable house, and uh, I'm walking across America for uh, charity. And you're gonna have to exit, and you can absolutely take 254 because pedestrians are allowed up. there. Okay. I've, I've right. got a big following, and uh, you know <laughs> we've never had any problem, and this is the first time yeah. anybody at 38 stops or so that anyone has ever uh, prohibited me from from taking this route through Washington State, Oregon, set two state records for Guinness books, <laughs> for house pulling, and it's all been done by the interstates because it's just safe. And well, I can't speak to laws in any other state, sir. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I work only in California, and you, and you can't be, as a pedestrian, you can't be on a freeway in California. All right. Well, <clears throat> let me go report this to my group. And I'll have them make the proper phone calls and contact the attorneys and what they need to do. Because sure. then I'm taking the next exit. That, uh, that's pretty much it. And then uh, we'll go take it from there. Appreciate it. All righty. Can I have your business card, please? Sure. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so the next exit's right around the bend there, and I'm going to follow you because you can't even keep this thing on the shoulder without getting in the lane. I don't want you to get hit and creamed. <laughs> but I don't have to. You know by law. By, by the, if I was a Mennonite or Quaker or Amish wagon with a horse, they could be right down here and take up the whole lane. But anyway, now let the porch decide that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Nothing I can do now, but if we got it here, and it's recorded, so we'll see what happens. God bless. So just so you know, you're being recorded, sir, okay? Yeah, I've got the same here.
Sir, do you have any identification? Yes, I do. So is this a form of protest or just uh, uh yeah, you can say that too, exactly. It's that and the charity walk. Are you protesting any specific uh issue homelessness? Or? Yeah, I just invented the first walkable house here. And uh, this will help end homelessness. We can create an infrastructure to support these walkable homes. I've broke two world records as a senior citizen, walking my own house across two states. Um, so <laughs> this is an important thing because I know Eugene has probably the worst problem in Oregon with homelessness, and this is the solution. We yes, can create Eugene a... does attract a lot of homeless people that travel through here, yes. Mm -hmm. And we can create a home, walkable home parks and reservation for these homeless and get them off the streets. It's all they want. So let me move out of the way. We'll get those to get through. I'm sorry, what, what is your last name? It's, it's, it's S C I B L A. Okay, so that's your last name. It's just the way it's configured on your driver's license. It's like, well, what? <laughs> it's West Virginia. Yeah, I'm going to get an a Oregon license and make this my home state. Possibly run for governor. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is a good thing right here, man. I've got over 80 countries. Hi, peace. Thousands around the world. This is a great little invention. Invented them yet? Hi. Hey, man. I just ran out of business cards. I got them in my office, but I wrote down my information for you. Okay. Sergeant Crompton, Eugene Police. My badge number is 312. And uh, just for documentation on my recorder, the reason I uh, spoke with you is because you were impeding traffic. Um, you would be considered a pedestrian, not a motor vehicle license for the city streets you had at least four vehicles behind you mm -hmm. and you're walking a pretty good pace you're doing well but you're a pedestrian walking in traffic and it is illegal okay that's so, what the courts are going to decide well <laughs> i'm heading to salem now to do that okay. same i had the uh, same thing with a uh, california highway patrolman out of 38 times i've been stopped through all the cities and everything, no one's ever questioned that. So you and him are the only ones. So well, I've got to go back and file a lawsuit. No problem. I'm not <laughs> issuing a citation at this time. Sure. However, if you were to continue, I would issue you a citation. Well, how do you expect me to travel with my home and my church? You're, you're now interfering with my religious rights of freedom. And, and First rights? Amendment rights. Oh, absolutely. This is Walking in the street is a religious right? This I'm is sorry, my church. Sir. I have to have a way to get to and from. Yes, sir. That would be a Just challenge. Just like a church van. That would be a challenge that would be specifically uh, for your your personal life. Unfortunately, it's not for all the other community. Your rights don't trump their rights. So you want me to walk on the sidewalk, in other words? As long as you don't impede uh, pedestrian traffic, you're, yes, you, you could you could walk on the sidewalk. This you are considered a pedestrian. You're not a motor well, vehicle. Well, I hate to argue it's different. I'm an operator of a, of a vehicle. When I step behind this, this is a vehicle licensed to be on the road with all the mirrors, no, lights, sir. mirrors, everything. And yeah. how it's powered is, is, is irrelevant. But I'm not going to argue with that. I will do what you say. And um, that's all there is to it. What I would it, it, to support, <laughs> I'm leaving town right now. I'll post it to my group. To support your, uh, your cause, uh, I don't have a personal stake in this, but to support your cause, I would look up in the ORS the definition of pedestrian, okay. motor vehicle, bicycle, and you'd have a better understanding of where I'm coming from. Be careful back there. I'm backing up. Okay. Right, God bless. Okay. Thank you. I was on the freeway, man. I've been driving over a thousand miles. Really? And I've, yeah. And it's been a pretty famous wagon here. And then what Trooper Stephen, uh, I can't recall his name, but he made me get off the highway saying I'm a pedestrian. This is a vehicle. I'm an operator. I'm being forced back on these dangerous roads here. I've been photographing all the accident marks and everything as I journey here. I never have this problem on the freeway. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you could do that on the freeway. Yeah, yeah, I've been racing the freeways. I just broke two world records. <laughs> From Spokane, Washington, all the way down to um, 
uh, uh, Garberville, California, and the fires turned me back. Well, I'm going to go to McDonald's and charge up my phones and get something to eat and report to my group so everybody knows I'm okay and what happened. Go down this road to the right. Yeah, the guy told me, he said, I talked to somebody, he said, you go, not the next right after the bar, but the second right, and it'll take you right into town? Actually, if you take this right right here, yeah. right in front of us, okay. just follow that until you get to uh, the bridge, uh -huh. and then take a left, and then you'll have more room. Okay. Take a left, okay. Yeah, go all the way to the second bridge. Go right down here, yep. There's two, there's two bridges, you're going to go underneath one, mm -hmm. you're going to come up to that next one, take a left there. There'll be more room there for you. Okay, because I'm pretty fast. I can keep up. I can do 25 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Come on. Howdy. How you doing, sir? Good. What's what going on? What the heck is it? Hey, you're on camera as well. Okay, good. Thank What's you. What's going on? Uh, this is a walkable house. I'm putting it... I'm walking across country for America, for charity, and uh, this is the invention right here. It's been all over the news, TV and radio. Uh, I'm on Facebook, and uh, got thousands of followers around the world following this mission, and we're trying to end homelessness as well. And this is a uh, walkable house, and it's the first one of its kind, so it's baffling and fascinating everybody, police alike, and this is it. So no one can determine what it is. Am I a bike? Am I a pedestrian? Am I a car? truck. So this is all being determined and we're going to have to go into the courts now while this is being put in storage and uh, we'll let the courts and the judge decide because I have a right as an American veteran or as an, any American to travel Thank these roadways. Thank you for your service. Oh, you're welcome. I'm a veteran as well. Oh, right on, man. Right so, on. So and tell me a little something here. Yes, sir. Is this registered? No. There is no registration. Why should there be a register? It's a home, right? Yes, I live here. You I live, live in this. Yes, okay, so full where, time. Where are you paying your property taxes at? I don't have any. Okay. I live in a walkable house. And who are you? Who am I? Because you're impeding pedestrian traffic. I'm well, sorry. I just had a sheriff throw me up on the sidewalk. I was trying to stay on the street. Did he you? Huh? He threw you up on the sidewalk? Yeah, he told me to get up here on the sidewalk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is this incredible? Well, you can't have this on the street. I... It's not a registered vehicle. So what are you trying to say? So I can't be on a sidewalk with my... Here's what I can't I'm trying to say. Here's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. All right? Yes, sir. You're passing through my beat. If I see something odd at this time in the, day, in the evening... Sure. I stop them, I check them. Yes. Hey, who are you? I'm so-and-so. Okay. You right. check out fine, and then I say, okay, well, then you... Good luck on your travels. If you're headed way west... Yes. It is super dark on Ocean Beach, and you are nothing but going to be in danger. I have been in danger since I started this from Spokane, Washington, four months ago, and been all the way down okay, to well, California and back. Guess what? Up and down At the highway. At 4 in the morning, I don't want to respond to a pedestrian vehicle accident either. Well, that's why the one sheriff told well, me to I get up here on the you, sidewalk. Who are you? Oh, let me give you my ID. Come here. And who are you? I need your identification as well. I need, your, I, I need to see it in writing. I need to see your writing, please. And I want your business card. I'm tired of police. I, I'm just tired of police telling me they don't have a business card. Well, I got one. <laughs> Thank you. You may not have had another one. This is pretty neat, by the way. I'm not saying anything bad about it. Let me look in there. Sure. You got any refrigeration? Nope. Don't need any of that. We were bipeds and did that. We've had that refrigeration for years. I've got you a got little cook stove, weapons? a you toilet. Got any other weapons inside that knife? No, just my knife and my um my machete there for okay. weeds and stuff. For weeds, to cut weeds. Yeah, yeah. Christ. And when he put me up on the sidewalk there, if you look back there about a half a mile, there was a bunch of briar hanging over to the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So I had to knock some of the little branches off, just a couple little pieces, uh, but to get through so it wouldn't tear up my canvas. Is that who they think that is? Who? Jake? Jake, sure. He's a revolutionary, just like yes, me. Yes, he is. A doctor, a very smart man. He protected the poor like I am. I see. I see. I see. I see. I Lawrence Edward. One North, two county, check once. Uh, Lawrence. 
First name of Edward, 1958-1006. Okay. Cameras on cameras. Are you on my Facebook page? Hey, I've got. Oh, there you are. There's some power bars for you, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're having conflicts now. They want me. I this officer because there's a sheriff that I had to get up here. Hold on. That happens to be my boss there. <laughs> Oh, okay. So don't tell him we're having conflicts. If we were having conflicts, it'd be <laughs> he told me to get up here, so I obeyed him. There you go. Thank you. Let me turn my camera off. <laughs> ah. What's the conflict? You know, you know, down here, man. How about let's try a pick? Oh, I know. I went up to Orford. You ever been to Port Orford around 101 and yeah. going through the National Forest? I pulled this try up those mountains nine, around them two, blind turns. Five, seven, it's seven, seven two. Oh, I, I know. I well, it's, daylight, man. I know. I'm telling you, it's at night is better. Yeah. I can see you guys ten times further back. If I know you're drunk or yeah. you're aiming for me, I can get right off the road. In the daytime, I don't have that advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I'm the most. Expert experienced rickshaw driver in the United States right now with a walkable home. And I'm doing this to protect the public as well because I don't want to see anybody wreck my, uh, get hit. Or I've seen more people rubbernecking. That's what you should be looking for. Looking for these rubberneckers, man. They're, they'll stop right in the middle of the highway to look at this thing. Well, even me. That's why I was like, what the That's why what you're, is that? you're, you're attracting attention. <laughs> I, well, it's for the cause. You know it's right to end homelessness is what I'm trying to do. I just built one of these and gave it to a homeless man in Salem. Right down the street there, right at that last intersection, there's two stores. Uh huh. Marijuana, one on your side. Oh, are they? Yeah. No, I'm all about medical for my kids back east. I'm yeah. not worried about recreation. Though. Oh, I know, I know. But I had to do this. I'm walking across to Washington D.C. I'm coming back, and we're building ten of these, and we're going to uh, uh, circle the White House until they end prohibition. There you go. <laughs> and homelessness. I have ten other people who I'm going to have as drivers. I have to train them. And to drive this? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah, it's a it's a yeah, it's a whole different class of vehicle unlike anything other. And yeah, it's powered by the wind. The the wind and gravity. And what it does is is it rides oh, I can barely that's four hundred pounds. I'm not even touching that. Yeah. Going downhill and, all the time. Yeah, and what you do is, you no, know, even uphill. i I've been over the tallest mountains and they haven't been able to stop me with this thing. It takes me a minute. But look how balanced that is. Put you on my, my Facebook page. <laughs> hey, I cuss police sometimes too. Can I take a picture? Well, sure, man. I cuss police sometimes too, but don't feel bad. I'm not cussing. My best friend was a police. Yeah, they put me in prison for 15 years for three ounces of marijuana, and and all my customers that night were off-duty correctional officers when they came in and found this marijuana, <laughs> and and. Uh, Oh, it's crazy, man. Three ounces of marijuana in jail? No. Yeah, I did. No, in prison. They put me in with serial killers, rapists and murderers for three ounces simply because I had so much time, not because of the crime, but because how much time I had. Oh. So, um, uh, but anyway. How much time for three ounces? Pardon? How did you get that much time? Uh, it was two lawyers. They wanted, I had a strip club in a, in a very remote part of West Virginia, and they wanted me out. <laughs> and, and, and they, I guess they saw I was up and coming. It was my American dream. I went up there and built it myself with my own hands, cut down my own trees, peeled the bark, notched it together, and built a beautiful club. And then they took it all for three ounces. So, but I'm not bitter. Well, I had, came out a better person. You had a log cabin strip club. Yes. Get yeah. the hell out. Look on my timeline. Look on my timeline. I got pictures of it. And all my criminal case too is on the line. service? Navy. Followed my father's footsteps. And my there you fun. Go. My son followed my footsteps. Good. Yeah, Andy yeah, he now. put in 12. I did three. My dad did five in the Pacific, World War II. All right. Yeah, he got hit by a torpedo and all that shit. Hey, I'm not joking. Ocean Beach, is, there's no sidewalk. Yeah, I know. I, I, what I have and to it's do. At 60 miles an hour to go. I know, down. brother. But I, I, I know the risk I take is between me and my Lord. I've already made my peace with God. Because I knew this, this mission was dangerous as I left. Maybe, 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 maybe God sent me down here to do it. Man. Well, I don't have no choice. I don't, they took me off the freeway. No, yeah, the, the highway patrol took me off the freeway where I've been very, very safe. This is state right here. Yeah. So what I'm saying is mm -hmm. they're going to pull you over. Who? Someone's going to stop you from going on there. It's like if you're trying to take this on I-5. Oh, no, 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 I can't. They've already took me off of it. I made it so far, so you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you pass Willow Grove Connection, yeah. which is. Uh, I'm trying to get half, to this island. Quarter, half mile up. 
Doesn't this ocean just stay into Ocean Drive all the way there to where I'm going? Well, were you trying to get to the ocean? N yeah, no, ocean, there's a place ocean called Cata something island. Cata, Cata, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the biggest island there at the mouth of the, the Columbia. And you, this okay. road is supposed to take you right there. It's actually called State Route 4. This is Ocean Beach as it goes through the residential area. Yes. When it crosses over that big light down there, that green light, yes. it's going to be about still halfway. Ocean Beach. Uh huh. And that's State Route 4. Okay. So technically, like if there's an accident here, yeah. State Patrol shows up. Okay. No, I'm good. That, that's where they <laughs> want me down there on that. They threw me off the interstate here a couple of days ago. Yeah, I was so, so safe. Yeah, I mean, take, say, I was very safe on these interstates. Take State Route 4? No, they won't let me travel on the interstate. They said I have to take these U.S. highways. That's oh, how I got here. Gotcha. Yeah, by U.S. highways. And US I highway. took the interstate all the way up if through Oregon. That, if they told you that? Yes, sir. You can take it. Yes, sir. I took I took the interstate through five all the way from uh, border to border, from California to Washington State. <laughs> yeah. And I took secondary roads. I took 99 west, east. Uh, I've been up and down U.S. Highway 1. Yeah, it's been a remarkable journey. I'm doing a documentary right here. I, oh, well, I forgot I was recording. But I'm doing a documentary here, and it's going to be uh, on YouTube, and hopefully it will be make national news. I mean, it's almost there now. Really, I've been in uh, magazines and, uh, and published in uh, Europe, and I've got followers all around the country. Take the U.S. Everybody looks up to us. So we're role models for the rest of the, the world, and it's up to us, you know, <laughs> to uh, set a better example. I went in for 15 years, come out, my whole world's upside down. My whole world, man, it was not like this 15 years ago. So, you know, I, I think it's, we have to get out here and be visible and make changes. And I inspire just thousands and thousands of people. It's amazing. Young people, old people. Uh, you see on my timeline, man, and it's wonderful. I'm, I'm actually very humbled by it. And I was ready to quit a couple of times, but I have to put the fear of God in them sometimes to get these people to do things, to call your politicians, you know, to get out with a sign and a picket and stand up. If you're unhappy about something, well, then do it, you know? So just sitting back. And I feel this is the next evolution of man and machine. Brother, I can almost outrace you guys. And just imagine the next generation of these. This is 400 pounds. When this mass produced, $200, 50 pounds a piece. That means you could pull your whole family in here. Or a guy could pull his surfboards, his computer, his laptop, have solar. You can have a 12 volt battery, and this thing would still weigh probably under 200 pounds. And right. I can travel 20 miles a day. I can run 20 miles an hour at top speed, not long. And I can do six miles an hour walk at a steady pace boom 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 and uh so it's making an incredible journey yeah man but i i, I love you guys and I, I would not want your job in the world i don't know how you guys do it <laughs> i don't i wouldn't want your job because you got a lot of harder you guys are the soldiers now oh yeah you know what i mean you guys are in a war you've got the civilians all hating on you and everything explain to me what's going on okay so if you're caught lodging in public or a place open to the public in the city of Seaside is a seven hundred dollar target ticket. It's all done lawful lodging, okay? Yes, sir. Any questions on that? No, sir. Uh, excellent. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank Can you. It, oh, you gave me that copy. All right. Bless your heart. And everybody, there's the Chevron station. I want you to boycott. That's the one who called the police and asked me not to come back because they're against cannabis and ending the oil and auto age. So that was a really rude lady, and that's the one I just posted the story. So you all see it. I do this daily all the time uh, so I earn my keep here thank you uh, from the service to the country and uh, I don't know this isn't America no more Heil Hitler I guess okay here we are in Washington on board round four uh, we've got the the county police out here and they're checking up on me uh, uh, an off-duty officer called and what happened is I've got to be on the other side of the road now I can't be on this uh, right hand side just like because I'm walking so I have to get in the left and face traffic as it's coming so I've never done this before it should be very interesting so we're gonna find out I'm gonna do what the officers say and then uh, and then also I just found out that I made a great big giant loop-de-loop -loop. I've got to go all the way back to highway one again so oh well it's been a great journey and uh, we, I've got until June 5th to get up there so everybody take care we'll see you again soon Rass Ivo on Highways Adventures on a rainy night here on Route 4, Washington in Kaplanet. Bye-bye. Good night.
Okay, we're recording. Go ahead, sir. Please explain what's going on. Okay. So, as you're walking down the road, your vehicle cannot be blocking the roadway, right? Okay. It has to be a small enough vehicle. And down the, ro down the road here, the shoulders aren't wide enough to support that vehicle. Right out here they are, okay, out here where we're at now. But down the road they're not. Okay. okay. You can't be you can't be blocking the roadway as you're walking down the road. Well, you're I'm already this far into way. Washington. This is my only place I can live. I'm a homeless veteran. I have nowhere else to live in this world. If I can't live in a vehicle this size of 20 square foot, and people can live up in houses and stuff, and my parents are combat vets, my whole family, you are. I'm not allowed to live in this little box and travel in it. This is my church. You can, you can, you can I have a religious that. right. You can't walk down the road and block traffic with. Or it's not a matter. No, also, we share the road, sir. To, we share the road. Not, sir, that's not a vehicle. Sir, when I'm behind there, I'll become an operator of a vehicle. Sir, that's not a vehicle. No, you're not. Well, get into a bicycle or something? Or? A bicycle would make no difference. I could run as fast as a bicycle. And if a bicycle no, wants sir. to walk, pedal two miles an hour down the road, I, that's legal. But I can't run 11 miles an hour past a bicycle? Sir? Cannot walk that down the roadway. Okay. Where so in either direction, because last shoulders, night where their shoulders not wide enough to support that. Then the people will have to pass me and share it. I share the road just like they supposed to share it with me. No, and sir. I'll stay to the right as far as I can. When I was in the other direction, I've been over a thousand miles in three states with this. No problem. Why all of a sudden now? You're also supposed to walk against traffic. And that's what the county officer told me last night. That's why I'm on going against the grain on this side so people can see me coming and I can see them coming. I'm just letting you know, sir. That what again? I said I'm just letting you know. No, uh, but let me know that I can't be blocking traffic. So if I'm on the other side of the white line, my vehicle, That's not I'll get out of the way. As far as the state of Washington's concerned, sir. Well, show me where the line is so I know the law. Can you show me the law? Show me out here in the public where the law, where the line is. I don't know how far over I can go and not go. That's what I'm asking. The fog you. line, the white line out there on the. So island. long as I stay on this side of the white line, I'm good. As long as you can stay off the right. As long as you can keep your vehicle on the side of the white line, you're good. Okay, you heard that, people. Now, which, and I have to stay on this side, though, right? Right, walking against the grain. Walking against the grain. All right, people, you heard it. I'll upload this in just a minute. Peace up and out. And your name, sir? Trooper Lonnie. Trooper All right, nice to meet you, sir. I meet many of cop police officers. They're on my timeline. They're watching this video, I'm sure, now. All right. And they'll be in training school <laughs> seeing this. Thank you, sir, for your service. All right, take care. All right. Well, there you have it, people. The United States of America. Yeah. So all you boys in the service right now, fucking killing people overseas and everything. Sorry for cussing. Uh, get out of the service, man. You, you're fighting for the wrong country. It doesn't matter. You die. Even my parents, who were combat vets, their children doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, there's your America. Woo! Hoo! Hi, my name is Ras Ivel, and um, I'm asked, I wanted to set up a protest outside this courthouse, um, and I wanted to know the laws and regulations to park in my little um, house out there in order to hold this demonstration. Uh, we can find somebody that will come talk to you about that. Thank you. Okay, God bless. Yeah, do you want me to wait here, or? Um, probably wait out in the, the lobby. Where? There's the lobby. A, a okay. Thank you so much. We'll get some answers. Sir Mason, and we're going to talk about the constitutional right to um, occupy like a place where people do protests and things like that around the United States. So if you could answer that, I, what I want to do is I want to be able to set up a little protest out of the way where I'm not okay. obstructing anybody. Sure, and um, I want to uh, possibly even go on a hunger strike because that is my right under the law uh, to for my cause here, for my patients and people around the world. So what I'm finding out is to make sure I stay within the law with this protest. Can you tell me, explain this to everybody? 
Sure, yeah, you've got the right to protest, as long as you remain peaceful. Yes, sir. And you have the right to hunger, hunger strike, I wouldn't recommend it, because I care about your safety and your health. Thank you, sir. But uh, as long as you remain safe and peaceful, okay. and uh, you don't impede anybody's business or, or traffic or anything. Where would be the best place to do this? Cause, I mean, <clears throat> they put me reasonably, because I've got a parking place right there out front right now, where, where I'll be more than happy to stay there, but I don't want to break any city code or anything within that spot. I could sure, come up sure. on the sidewalk and squeeze in the side, or just find um, somewhere where I'm not obstructing anybody. Why don't, I'm not I, here why don't I ask the office and we'll, and we'll figure out the okay. place since, since you're... Okay, do that. Yeah, if you can the... find me a spot, okay. I'll uh, just, you know, within the grounds. Oh, sure. Don't put me like down the street oh, somewhere. Oh, sure. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mason. Right, mm -hmm. I just left the clerk's office right here. I've got the legal work to uh, file a writ of prohibition uh, in this court, and uh, it's possible if I can get this done and get it notarized, get the paper in, and write this petition as quick as I can, handwrite it, we can have this uh, before the judge here uh, in just a little bit. So we're gonna. This is a live report here at the. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Why, Kirkham County Courthouse, uh, reporting live, Ras Eibel in Kathmandu. Washington. All right. Regarding a few things, um, you have the right to peaceful protest on mm -hmm. the government property, but it is against the rules to have any sort of political campaign on the government property. So, like the stuff that says, uh, "Is that you from Air?" Yeah. Is, oh, is okay. That no. Well, that or? that's that's just more of a protest. They tore down that veteran memorial in Astoria, uh, Oregon. Right. So that's just more of a protest i'm not registered in anything and it's like in 2018 for the mayor vote so okay. and it's more just like when i go through towns and cities everybody every city i go through they think i'm running for that city right. it's funny it just right. happened accidentally so yeah i mean but that's not really political i mean if you i'm not really running for mayor okay would you mind covering that up yes i can part? okay then that's that's the only oh okay cool man issue. and then you're okay to, to stay on the right of way here if mm -hmm. you want and then yeah also, this is perfect when if that that black Ford right there, that's the sheriff's office vehicle. Yes, sir. That moves too. If you want to move into that spot too, you can do that as well. All right. Great, man. So, Thank good. you, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have everything you need? Yes, sir. I got food and water and everything. If, okay. if I don't, but I may be able to file this paperwork to get it before the judge here this afternoon. So I could even be leaving on my way. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm yeah. going to get my fingers right and as quick uh, as possible. Uh, I think it's going to Superior Court of Washington. Okay. You got some more hours to do that. Okay, I'm a pretty fast writ writer. I've got 12 years experience as a jailhouse lawyer writing writs. Cool. All right. Okay, let's know if you need anything. Thank you, sir. All right, take care. Bye, man. Thank you. Okay, everybody, let me get busy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the sheriff live here, and he's explaining that I can't stay here and that I have to be gone here within two hours, sir. That's and can you please uh, explain I for said, us? I said you cannot this car yes this sir. parking space because it does not qualify as a vehicle okay just like if it was a boating trailer mm -hmm. or, or uh, any other trailer that's not a, a legal a legal vehicle okay not utilize this parking space okay and so that's, that's and how that's are these people how do they get away with the occupy movements when they post up and, and set up all this had, stuff we've never had an occupy movement here so it's not anything we've had to deal, deal with, with within the law so, so I've already explained to you that's that's where it stands. You know, you're you're able to stay in the town, but you can't park this cart in a vehicle parking space. Okay. You heard it, folks. There is no occupy. We got to keep the occupy to two hour limit, and uh, so free speech is definitely not totally free. <laughs> there are some things we have to do here, but anyway. <coughs> yes, sir, sheriff. I'll report this to my group and then let me uh, plan to make my plans here. We've got two hours, folks. We've got two hours to set this up and uh, make some phone calls to the governor, to the mayor's office right here, to this judge who's supposedly sitting on the petition and won't be doing anything with it because all this other paperwork's supposed to be filed. And so I'm just supposed to, like, just be a good slave. Well, this slave is not going to be good. So, anyway, you all peace up and have a wonderful day. We'll see you around here somewhere in the good old United America. I mean, I haven't been here but 15 minutes and, you know, people come yelling at you and telling you to get out and all that kind of stuff. I did not yell at you. I informed you of what the rules 
Okay, man. Well, thank you for your time. Sure. Your monoxide's kind of killing me here, but yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, I know it is. Thank you, buddy. And there's your America, folks. Yeah, get out of the military now and join your National Guard. That's what you do. God, that stuff stinks. Man. Minoxide. What's going on? I'm filming everything, just so you know. The deputy vendor of the chair saw. Seriously, I'm talking to you. There's a lot of traffic. Uh, no, I'm not really. Uh, they're supposed to slow down for me and go around. And that's what they've been doing, so no one's been stopped at all. Okay, well, there's slow traffic down here. So trucking it's, traffic. But it's 35 miles an hour, and I have a right to the roadway. Uh, if you're a, a, a bicycle. This is a bicycle. You see that little tiny wheel on the back? It makes it a tricycle. And I prefer to pedal with my feet to the ground and not uh, to a chain and a sprocket. I've been to this a million times, but you know, okay. it's up to you. Do your thing. Do you have a driver's license? We sure do. We go through this all the time, people, but that's all right. That's how we raise awareness and get people to uh, uh, understand the stuff. Hold on. We're still recording. Let me set the camera down here. Y'all looking at the sky right now. Oh yeah, I've got a right to this road like anybody else, sir. And uh, as long as they obey the law, I'll obey the law too. Okay, where, where are you coming from? Spokane, Washington. I'm about to make a complete circle. And I've been on the road for one year. And I've been down to California, all over Coming Oregon. No, uh, Annapolis, Maryland is where I'm from. But okay, where uh, are you coming from right now? Uh, where am I coming from? Astoria, Oregon. Oh. I've got a little place down there where some people took me in and let me build the studio inside their boathouse, and now I make these for homeless people. Okay. And uh, marching across to Washington, D.C., and this is where we're going with it. This will be the new greenhouse. It ain't going to be the White House no more. We're going to make it the greenhouse like your truck. Look at that. That's a beautiful color. <laughs> but anyway, that's the thing. I mean, if you want more information, yeah, I'm going to go over here and get something to eat. I'm pulling right in right there so you can hold my ID. I'm starving. Uh, right, right now, I want you to go sit down on my push bars. You're not Where? Anywhere. Well, the push bars are on the my car. Where? Right here. A push car? Sit, sit down. This is a push oh, okay. car. You're going to sit on it. Okay. Here comes the SWAT team. Howdy, gentlemen. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you guys? Good, what are you doing? Walking across America? You bet, brother. Is that right? That's right. Okay. I've got about a thousand miles in and I'm about to, uh, I've got TV cameras on me and news people and Facebook, thousands and millions around the world. Oh. And uh, yes, we're about to uh, 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 make a milestone here. Where'd you start from? From Spokane, Washington. I'm about to cross the city lines disturbed and unmolested. That's right, to complete this mission and then from there I'm going to Washington DC. Sir, just so you know everything being said and done is recorded by video on my Yes shirt. sir, and here too, just so you know as well. So, uh, where did you start? From Spokane, Washington on April 25th, 2015. I'm going as far as Oh yeah, yeah, I've been as far as California, up and down the coast. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah, man, making big news everywhere. Kinds of policemen that follow my page and like what I'm doing, and thank you, officers out there, for doing your job because I know the ones are the good ones. So, you can see that this probably isn't good. What's that? This is not good. I mean, I was just here. I am a serving veteran, come back from combat veteran family, folks. I, my mother and dad are both combat veterans. I served in the military, my son served in the military with three generation Navy. We got nephews, uh, just all kinds of people in the military. See what it's like, people in America, when you serve your country and you come out here, and this is what you get. This is what you get, folks. This is your America. This is what you serve your country for. I don't know why he's Mom, talking, Dad. But listen for a second, okay? Instead of jabbing your mouth, listen for a second. Here you go. He's probably stopping you because he's concerned for your safety because you're on a no, it wasn't that at all. He said I was stopping traffic, which was a lie. Okay. Because traffic was going around me. They have to slow down and use caution when they're past me. It's okay. common sense and courtesy. Were you in the lane of travel? Well, how can I look how wide I am over a foot? But this uh, is too bad. Probably 
probably why he's talking. Well, that's too bad because I had a right to travel if that was a Mennonite, a Quaker, or an Amish, and that was a horse and a buggy. They would have to. As long as I got that head to I, I follow all federal regulations and law. And if y'all inside my wagon, they're kind of searching it, folks, and that's illegal. Well, so I'm suing that. somebody. I, mean, I don't care, I ain't got nothing illegal, it just makes me mad that I've got to be here detained in my own country that I joined the service and fought for. Hey, Lawrence, uh, my daddy lost guys, 18 men off the shores. Hey, hey, Lawrence, listen to me for a second. Most, guys, just, most guys that do this have also been in the military. I served two tours in Iraq, okay? That's right. I did four years in the Marine Corps, six years in the Air National Guard. Now I'm doing, serving my country in a different capacity, okay? What I'm telling you is you can't have that wagon thing I'll do my best, but you're going to probably have to arrest me when I come back out of the street and I can't go any further. And you heard it, people, right here, Rass Iowa reporting in uh, uh, America. God bless. Now, may I please proceed on my way, America. sir? America. Prove it to me, man. You boys don't know. You boys, you're still boys. You don't know. You talk to my daddy and my mama, and they'll teach you about Americanism. There's your Americanism, brothers and sisters. You know where we're going from here. Honest. Oh, that's why I'm recording too. What's going on? Good. I'm heading to Washington, D.C. Got over a thousand miles to travel California, uh, all of Oregon, and uh, just about all of Washington. And I'm on my way back to Spokane to complete my circuit. Oh, nice. Nice. So the reason I'm out here mm -hmm. is uh, we're getting a lot of calls. Yes, there's a lot of unsafe drivers uh, here. Being well, rude. No, no, the reason, I mean, I, I was going this way, and you're yeah. on the shoulder. Yes, yeah, sir. When you're, but when you're moving, when you're going down the road. It's a signal. You're, you're going out into their lane. And you're causing them. Okay, I observed it. Okay, I'm not telling you. Can I'm I not, see the video, please? I observed it. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm just asking you, how far are you going? Like, where are you oh, I'm going you're... across the Stevens Pass. We'll get up onto the plateau and then take the way back to Spokane on US 2. Okay. That's where I'm trying to get to US 2. And this is the only way to go. I've tried every other route. This is it. The only other way is back to the Columbia River. Okay. And you have authorization to do this? Sure. Have you been on Highway 2 before? Oh, I've been on, yes, all the highways. Not Highway 2, no. Okay. No, but highway... I've been on other US highways that are just okay. as equal access. Highway 2 is. There's no lane. There's no shoulder. Really? Yeah. Now how do the bicycles get across to the Stevens Pass? Uh, there is a... That big a shoulder. I guess we're all going to have to share the road. Do you hear that, everybody at home? Um... People need to be cautious. There's three lanes here, and they've got to ride right up to the white line next to me? Come on! Yep. Use caution. That's why I'm filming so many deaths and grave sites along Washington highways is because they don't use caution. There's no respect. And that's why we're having all these graves along the highway here. Because none of them are using caution. And they're going to learn it. Or they're going to we're going to ban autos. Thank you. So, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Until you get to the road. Yes, sir. Try to stay along the garden. I will. Do and if you can, favor. can you patrol the highways and, and make sure hey. people slow down? Don't tell me how to do my job. I do my job perfectly. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. I do my job the way I'm supposed to do it. Okay? Um, I stop cars, and I'm out here patrolling the highways all the time. Okay? I appreciate your service. Yeah, so I, I do my job. I, I was out here. I wrote a lot of tickets yesterday. So Thank you. Do me a favor. Well, let's work together. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, I want brother. To keep you safe. Yeah. Okay? I want to get you to where you're going. Absolutely. Okay? But we also have to keep everybody else safe, too. Okay? So... If you don't mind, just hugging this guardrail. Um, yeah, I did, and I got caught up twice. That's what made me go off, because the car got too close. Yeah, I got caught up twice in this, and these guardrails will suck you in like a car. Oh, yeah. Between here and then. 
See that? It'll suck you right up in here, and I've gotten close twice now, and it sucked me in. So what I have to do is I can't go any more further. I've got to back myself off just that guardrail. That's probably what you saw. Just up here, there's the next, there's the next exit. Sure. Take that exit. Once you get off, take a right, and that'll be a bypass to Highway Two. Oh, excellent, yeah, excellent. The next exit. Right. Yep. The got next it. Exit. I'm on it. All right, man. All right. All right, you too, man. Thank you for your service and watch my back. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. Peace out. We just recorded this, and mm -hmm. they thought that maybe you were selling. No, no, okay. not at all. I'm all right. doing a charity walk across America, okay. and okay. I'm here for probably like an hour to pray, and then I'm going to find a more secluded place because I'm going to do a little artwork and okay. stuff, whatever I come up with in my vision quest. So what is this? Is it's a here? new invention, man. It's an adult tricycle uh, for legal wise language. <laughs> so it's like a bicycle. And what I did was modified it. An ancient uh, craft, really, was a rickshaw, and I modified it with a little back wheel. And okay. that allows it to ride, and I use kinetic energy of uh, gravity and wind. Yeah. What was already provided for us. So there's no fuel. I can run 11 miles an hour and do about, now I'm up to about 30 miles a day. Well, and yeah, it's a wonderful thing. So, so where's that? Yeah, man, so... Pardon? Where's the actual bike part? Right? Oh, there is none. It's what it is. Just... I pedal to try as an adult tricycle. Here, stand oh, back because oh, oh, the I mirror might get you. You're yeah, right. see? Okay. So and so I run it. I get a hold of it. And these are for going up mountains. I've got a harness that lets you go down mountains. Oh, it's a wonderful invention. And it's a little mini home. Please look inside. I have a little portable stove, a little refrigerator, uh, a little place. This is a West Virginia double wide, I call it. Yeah. And it actually sleeps three people. And but so yeah, it's wonderful. I can cook, eat. No homeless person or anybody ever has to be without a house again. FEMA can mass produce these, a couple hundred a piece, and they're solar powered, and we can still stay in touch with our families, and just wonderful. And have parks like this actually, walkable home parks. This is what I'm trying to do for veterans. I was a homeless veteran, and I won't be homeless no more with my little invention here. Yeah. So whatever the law eventually is going to classify it one day, yeah. Yeah, I've got one of these. I wish I had brought the other one because I got a one that's even. I could have walked it right into the water and paddled across the lake, and everything you have in it. It's a, an amphibious one. So sure. yeah, join me on Facebook. All right, everything's cool, peeps. I'm going to go right now and let these guys go. And but look at this beauty out here. This is guys' nature. I didn't get here and didn't pollute at all. No emissions. No carbon monoxide. <laughs> I didn't leak any antifreeze. No, uh, I peed a couple times, but that's it. But see y'all later. God bless. One love. Howdy. I come in peace. <laughs> I'm filming you. You're probably filming me. Yeah, come on over, bro. Yes, sir. The whole reason I'm talking to you is someone said you were kind of in the road wave. No, not at all. Maybe coming up that mountain a little bit that when I came up that last big hill. Uh, the shoulder was a little bit narrow, yeah, and I had to sneak over a little bit, but okay. plenty of the center lane for people to go around. No one had any problems. And um, but anyway, I'm walking this to Washington D.C. I've been on the road for a year. I, huh? Yeah, I started out in Spokane. I went down to California near Frisco. Uh, come back and then did Oregon and Washington. I just did Idaho, and now I'm doing Montana. And uh, setting records as I go. This is a 500-pound house and uh, it's non-motorized and it's a wonderful thing here you can look inside too and uh the police in the airway heights already or oh, not them but it was in bonner heights uh, idaho they already went through it and stuff this is my church and um so i'm in a peace mission and i'm going to get to dc uh lord willing <laughs> I'm, this is my life now but this is but, really cool man oh thank you brother yeah you can google my name here and you'll get my real name and everything this is my spiritual name but you, all my legal work and everything and all that's on um, on line. Can and I lift uh, it up? yeah, go ahead. It's be careful. Just one finger. Watch. Look how easy it is. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So and what I do is I use gravity and wind power because you can't just use physical kinetic energy all the time, or you'd be you'd be eating 24 hours a day. But um, yeah, it's a neat little machine. And then we've got this guy here, Yanos. I met him in Leavenworth, Washington. And um, we're getting, actually, we're going to meet in D.C. together. And he's in a wheelchair from Poland with one leg. And um, he's beating me, hands down, in a wheelchair for this little child here, trying to raise awareness and money for her. So, 
it's been a wonderful thing. And here's some newspaper articles if you want to read my story. It's over here. I've been in the Daily Historia and the Statesman Journal, the Herald Dispatch, Waikiki County, and the Daily. And there's other stuff out there too. But and I, I'm just so inspired to do all find these little messages, and I've been putting them on here as I pray and meditate. So it's just been a long time coming, and I hope people will 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 take heart to some of these messages I've got because it will help you our planet. But so, but I'm going over to Walmart and do some shopping, man. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Right uh, yeah, again, the whole reason I was out with you is someone called, they said someone had some sort of cart, uh -huh. and uh, they were worried, that they said you were near the road or something, they were just worried that you might get hit. Yeah, I always try to stay on the bike path, okay. let me tell you, anytime I can get on a bike path, I am there, brother. Right on. <laughs> because uh, my partner is almost here. He oh, okay. Yeah, if he wants to come down, yeah. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go right now. We're gonna close up, and uh, his partner's gonna come here and check it out. But I'll talk to y'all later. Peace up and out. Ras Eibel and Highway Adventures. Woo! Couldn't tell what that was as I was going by. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just parked there for a second, standing, looking at the stars. It was so beautiful. Oh, I got my camera too, because I don't know. I guess you're a policeman or. Yeah, I can't I, really tell because yep, I don't. I'm a deputy sheriff. Oh, police pleased now. to meet you, sir. Yeah. Well, do you mind telling but, me what this is? Ah, uh, this is a tricycle, an adult one. It doesn't have any pedals or a nut and uh, chain or a sprocket. But uh, I'm traveling in this, and I have been for a year. Really? I left Spokane, yeah, uh, last year in o April, and so I'm about to turn around and make a complete circuit, and then I'm going on to D.C. But, oh, you're walking all the way across the country. Oh, yeah, yeah. I live in this thing. It's a little tiny house. It's all over Facebook. Really? And you can Google my name and all that stuff. But it's really cool. So I share it with the world and everybody else. And it's all good stuff, man. I had a friend who walked from Seattle, yeah, all the way across the country. He didn't have a trailer this nice. He just had a little, basically, pull cart with a tent. And he had a dog with him. Oh, right on. Oh yeah, yeah. There's been I've heard other stories of people doing stuff here, and and it's inspiring as well to know you know that that um, others tried it. <laughs> so I'm not alone, you know. But this is the way to do one if we want it as a house. Uh, a, a survival unit, 100%. And I have one that's amphibious that I can. It proves the theory that we can even pull these right into the water and go with them. You yeah. This in the water? Uh, not this one. I have another unit. I'll give you my card here. You can join me on Facebook if you want, and uh, see all the postings and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the safest time really, because I've got so many lights. It's like a Christmas tree here, the way it's lit up. Have you been the, down this road before? Oh, never. Thank you. I haven't been down none of these roads, brother. I learned it. I put my faith in the Lord up there. Oops. <laughs> my battery's going low. And uh, let him guide me. And it's just been love, man. Oh, very yeah. cool. So, well, I'll just but, warn you, this road you're going on for about, it's about 15 miles till you get to Leavenworth. Okay. And uh, it's just a real tight, windy road. Okay. Um. Yeah, so definitely just... Yeah, I'm going to boogie. Yeah, that's why I've got that airplane beacon up there. If okay. they can't see that, then it was intentional or they're drunk. I just want to make sure that you're <laughs> safe because there are a lot of drunks out there oh, yeah. this weekend. Oh, yeah. And but... especially paparazzis, man. So many people have been trying to get my picture all night long and oh, really? everything. Yeah, because this is they just love this little wagon. Oh, and so I've had several up other. there. Yeah, I was just on the hill praying and meditating, and I'm done now, but I'm going to get off this hill. Okay. So, so I'll, yeah, I'll be off this hill. Uh, Leavenworth and Cashmere and all that area. So if you do have an issue, uh, okay, just, just call us or you know nine one one if it's an emergency. And right on, we man. We can help you out. But yeah, hopefully, I just want to make sure you get to town safely. Yeah, as long as they see you there. on the road, they're good. They, they'll keep their traffic down. Everybody's been good up here with traffic though. Excellent, okay. everybody. No problems, man. Great, good to hear. So. Yeah, just this <laughs> next stretch, they did widen it a little for you, but yeah. it is. A little nastier, just winding. Yeah, them, them hard parts, that's where I run. I do the wind sprints there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get up 11 miles an hour. Well, man, I'm impressed you got over this hill. That was that my... I can't do any more than that. That's the max. <laughs> right there. I was praying the whole way up, brother. That's the that's the toughest hill you'll face. Yeah, uh, it had me on my knees. Yeah, that, that man, one there. This is yeah, this is the shoulder pads. That's how you get up the mountains like that. I just get in, and then I put my head right into this right here. Oh, <laughs> so I'm using no, head I'm power. Excited to, I'm excited to follow Woo. your journeys here. And... Yeah, see what happens. So you're going to Spokane and then uh, on across the country? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep.
Yep. Very cool. Well, you're good for tonight then, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to try to make it in Leavenworth tonight. Okay. That's a piece of cake. Oh, I'll keep an eye out for you there. All right, man. Reach when you get there, but yeah, definitely just be safe out here, so. Yeah, you too, brother. Well, I'll let you get caught. <laughs> I'm going to keep holding you up here, so. All right, man. Yep, have a good one. You too, be safe. <laughs> bye bye. Howdy, was I speeding? No. Okay. I, I was just stopping to check out your rig, man. All right, yeah. on. Okay, well, I'll sign it off. We've got a good police officer here, so I'm just going to sign on, people. Wait, is there another one coming up on the other side? Yeah, they are. There's three of them. Oh, Lord. Help us, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I film everything between police and stuff just to keep everybody honest and stuff because these days what's going on. But um, I figured everybody in the entire nation would know about this wagon by now. But this is the, yeah, it's the Peacemaker. I'm walking this across America and parking it next to the White House here, hopefully. And um, I've been through all these states already, through many, many jurisdictions. And uh, Washington State was the hardest to get through. <laughs> but I had to protest at their courthouse to get my rights to the road because this is my church just like a Mennonite or a Quaker but I prefer to use my feet and pedal with it so but it's pretty neat and I've been on TV and stuff if you want here look on the side over here and you can uh, google my name Rass Eibel uh, for mayor and these are all the stories and stuff that I've been in and I've got a book and and I was on TV here recently so okay. yeah it's a little portable house and um it works great. I was a homeless veteran, but not anymore. My mama taught me the march when I was five years old. You actually have a house in there? Yeah, look, man. <laughs> You're welcome to look. And, um, yeah, I'm all supplied with water and everything. People have been dropping me donations and chips and food. And there's some veterans I just met down the street. It was just wonderful, man. And we had a great talk, and um, it was just amazing. So uh, hopefully we can help our veterans uh, when I get to D.C. there and park this next to the White House. I will pester them until they start doing something about homelessness and the drug problem and um, equal access to cannabis in all of our states you know not just um, uh, uh, half the country we fought for the entire country I come from combat veteran family my mama and daddy she was a nurse and her mama like her was a nurse and my brother was a Vietnam era uh, uh, paratrooper um, uh, what do they call them medics and stuff and I was served my son served so I think we uh, are deserve it <laughs> we fought for the entire country, not just for Ev. So, anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, but it's pretty, yeah, it's a neat machine. You know, Pardon? Seeing it driving around. And it's oh, so yeah, it's, it's 500 like, pounds. Wonder, wonder what this, what the it amazes everybody. This is only probably my 150 stop by police. <laughs> and and most of them have been good. Wanted, we just wanted to talk and see what, see yeah. what the deal was. So. Yeah, right on. Well, I'm you glad you did. I'm that. glad you did. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, I want to go ahead. Sure, take your pictures. I'm going to sign off now for my Facebook group. God bless everybody. We have some good officers here, and they're just checking up on everything. And that's good, because the way our nation is, we've got to watch it. God bless and see you all in Washington, D.C. Okay, we're recording. we got the sheriff's office from Ward County here, please. Yes, sir. Hey, how, good. How are you? All right. Yes, sir. Looks like you're pretty fit and healthy. What's going on, man? Welcome to Washington, D.C. I've got about 2,000 miles under my belt. I've covered all these states except this one. I couldn't get to there. But um, and now I'm about uh, here in my notch and halfway across the Dakotas and on my way to park this next to the White House. Wow. So, What's your cause? I end the prohibition and... Uh, Racism, hate, anger, homelessness, poverty, you name it. It's all written on here. Okay. Drugs, not drugs. All right. I mean, uh, it's just, I'm a veteran myself, and there's a lot of us still living in prohibition in states that want this as a medicine. And so I'm marching for us all. Okay. And that's it. But I'm obeying all traffic laws. I haven't gone over right. the speed limit or not this year. All right. Uh, that's good. I mean, like I say, you look like you're pretty fit. You're having uh, that knife might be. would hope they would put out like some kind of a Ross Eyeball alert to all these states and counties I go through because yeah I've got to go through like each county and let everybody know I'm here. Well it's all I'm doing is checking up. Yeah man. Guys. Yeah I met the deputies from the last one. She was cute. But I mean well, not I, that you're not a bad looking man yourself. <laughs> but, 
God bless you. Yes, as you're, I do just to keep everybody honest because I've had a couple of um, uh, bad police officers who um, I needed to call out. And so that's what I do is film this. And the good police officers, I congratulate them as well. I'm on Facebook right. here at Grass Isle. Right. You can Google my name. Well, the key is uh, that you're safe, right? It's yes, sir. You're safe. Lawrence Edward Seibel. L A W R E N C E. Yes, sir. Lucky guess, huh? Seibel. Uh, S I E B O L. No. S C I. S C I. B L E. B L E. Seibel. What's your date of birth, Lawrence? 1068. 1068. Yeah, I'm probably the most popular guy on the C I B national credit list. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, I should get some kind of prize for this. All right. Do you keep ID with you? Yes, sir. Andy? Yes, sir, I do. All right. Well, Here we go, see. folks. All right, let's check that out. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go through Airway Heights, the city police, and I had an ordeal with them about uh, my rights to use in the road here, um, the highway to travel, and also Waikikum County, Washington, and I had to protest at their courthouse because... Uh, County and the state police tried to stop me. Really? And uh, oh yeah. Well, you but this is my right. All right, partner. A, All right. This was a this is my church, a Rasta church, and oh, this yeah. was a Mennonite okay. Quaker uh, uh, wagon or, or anything okay. like that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna step into my office a minute and just let our dispatchers know who's uh, Mr. Seibel is coming through our county. All right, partner. Thank you so much, right. sir. God bless you. Okay, folks, we'll take a commercial break, and we're going to be right back. Uh, he's a nice fella. He's treating me really good. And like I said, he's with the sheriff's department. So we'll see y'all. It's all love. I ain't got no warrants on me. He's up and out. Right side bolt. Woo! Howdy. How are you doing today, sir? Yeah, uh, great. What's going on? Nothing. Just okay. Just say hi. All right, God bless. Yeah, I'm, I'm just filming everything. This is routine for me, and I'm sure you got your cameras on. Hello? Hi. <laughs> but I'm walking across America for charity. I've been about 2,000 miles and 14 months on the road. I've been as far as California, and I'm on my way to Washington, D.C. to park this next to the White House to pester them to do something about prohibition and homelessness and uh, veteran care and a lot of issues. So I've been in the news and, and television and stuff, and um, you're more than welcome to have my ID or Google my name or whatever, but no. that's what I'm doing. No, so. I, I just seen the contraption here, and I just figured I'd stop and say hi. So. Oh, God bless, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah it amazes everybody. I call it the peacemaker, and yeah. here, look inside. You're more than welcome. Yeah, this is Mr. Okay, that's where you sleep. Okay. Yeah, this is a home for me, and I built it uh, when I became homeless, and uh, it was just, I fixed it and as I walked, and uh, modified it. It's a prototype. It's a a rickshaw tricycle so to speak and uh but i can get uh, up to my best day is 50 miles but on the average it's like 20. and here's a perfect day for traveling i can almost run up these mountains here because i'm just so well trained for this now after you know that long of a period but anyway look i'm gonna say goodbye folks because i got to do some stretching here we got a good officer so everybody peace up and out we'll see you in bismarck at state capitol here for some photos in about three hours all right bye i love you Woo! So that's why I film just to protect myself and to protect police and everything because you know all the stuff going on in the world right now. No, I started in Spokane, Washington, and um, uh, I've been on the road 14 months over 2,000 miles and I'm almost to the halfway point, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Fargo, North Dakota. They should have the honors of this um, peacemaker uh, travel here. But yeah, so I'm not going to record it anymore. I'm just going to, I have a Facebook group, and you all can say hi and everything. We've got some more good peace officers. The North Dakota ones are the best, I'm telling you. Really, you guys have been wonderful. Your roads are beautiful. The drivers are really good. So, it's been a blessing. And the wind has been a blessing to the folks at home. So, I'll see you all in a little bit. God bless. Bye-bye. Welcome everyone to Rass Eibel's Highway Adventures right here. We're at the Farmer's Market in, what town are we in, sir? Elk River. Elk River right here. We've got some nice officers and they want my name and stuff. It's Rass Eibel, R-A-S-I-B-L-E. 
Okay. And my Christian name here, which is also Raz Sabal anyway, but uh, my birth name, Lawrence Sabal, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E, and S-C-I-B-L-E. S-C-I-B-L-E, yes, sir. Do you have a middle name? Edward. Edward. 10658, because they always ask you that. <laughs> You're on. You, you huh? Know. Huh? Oh, I'm probably yeah, the most frequently, uh, 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 frequently probably. Uh, yeah, what's, what does it go to? The FBI file no, or something? Go huh? It just goes to who yeah. I talk to. <laughs> okay. Because I tell you what, yeah, man, they've called my main name so many times, it's just it's crazy. But, folks, that's what we do when we raise awareness and activism. You got good and bad on both sides. I'll tell you what happened down the street here a little minute ago in just a bit when I, I film next. Peace up now, Rash Ivel. Woohoo! Okay, uh, here we are. We're live right here now, and I have an officer here in um, some city, and she's questioning me. She got my knife, and she's asking me what I'm doing. So what I'm telling her, folks, is I'm walking across America, and obviously you can Google my name like most everybody do, and they learn right away who I am. You can find more stuff on Google than you can with the FBI. But I've been walking this for 2,000 miles, and... Uh, 14 months. I started in Spokane, Washington, and uh, I've been on TV, newspaper, radio, all that stuff. And I'm just absolutely amazed that the police don't have this communication with each other. And that's part of this awareness too, folks. There needs to be better communication between the community and each officers and stuff. Because I've been stopped over 200 times coming across America. And how many states now? I'm not coming near you, but look over here, sir. You can see all the states, ma'am, I've been through Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, and I'm just about to finish up here, and then I'm going on into Wisconsin to do it. But I was a homeless veteran. This is my home. It's the only thing I can afford, and I'm parking it next to the White House. It's my right as an American citizen and veteran. My mama is a combat vet. She taught me how to march when I was five years old. God bless her heart. She's dead now. She died of cancer when I was 10 years old and she was 40. So I'm just here to get ice, get some food, and I'm moving on like I always do. So you heard it, folks. <laughs> so I don't know. What's the story? Hi. Hi. So, sir, are you going to go inside and purchase the ice and the food? I'm already done. I wasn't here 10 minutes. I hadn't even been here 10 minutes, man. And paparazzis from everywhere surrounded me. Oh, yeah, I get my picture taken 100 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah man I'm just, like I'm just an innocent person here I just eat food like everybody else but I'm a conscious ob objector against automobiles they've killed our planet and yes I do yes I do and since I'm filming you I will give it to you, you uh, hold on folks we're going inside the house here and can you imagine the lawsuit we're going to have when this is over and we're done in D.C.? We can do a federal civil rights thing and join every city in a class action lawsuit for religious rights and freedoms. This is my church, and I've been stopped so many times if I was a Quaker or a Mennonite or an Amish in a little tiny wagon, I guarantee I wouldn't be getting stopped. But here we are. Uh, no, I'm a homeless veteran. I really don't really have a home. But that's the last driver's license I could do under my ability as a homeless person. So again, being detained or been profiled, I guess because we have a medical marijuana leaf on the thing and the flag, uh, we're on private property on holiday so i don't even know why i'm being stopped unless the manager called police here on me and so there's really no excuse for anybody to be here so folks this is why we have to oh are you trying to get out of here ma'am go ahead this lady doesn't want to be in the picture she just did a complete uh photograph of the peacemaker here here's a bunch of witnesses hi everybody yeah, private property, wasn't doing nothing, minding my own business, <laughs> getting some advice, how long are you going to be here? See, I can't even rest. They won't even give your homeless veterans a five-minute rest, folks. Is that sick or what? Yeah, I mean, that's why there's 22 a day committing suicide, because people are always riding their butts. Because we may be a little different. Well, we've seen things that other people haven't seen. That's right. And when the world finally wakes up, they'll know.
But you want to you wanna cure a veteran homelessness? You allot two acres to every homeless veteran, and I guarantee you will never see a homeless veteran again. But yet we can give 50,000 acres to one farmer to graze his cows. Yeah, great, America. That's sharing. That's giving everybody a piece of the pie. Am I fired up right now? You bet, boys and girls out there. Ladies and gentlemen, all my Christian friends and groups. I want you to tell this to all your churches, too. When you go back and pray Sunday here, I want you to raise this up. If you tell them what's going on in America, and this is not Jesus-like what they're doing. This is more Roman-like. This is what the Romans did. They persecuted Jesus, harassed him wherever he went. And he tried to preach the word, is what he did. He tried to preach the word, and the Romans uh, took him down. That's right, and I've been going through the same thing. Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. you purchase your food and your ice? Are you moving on now, sir? Yes, I told you. I was just trying to get my food settled. You can even look inside and see my food. My pulling the water out of my cooler. Sure. I'm here because someone from inside the store, an employee called. Because oh, okay. So they, All right. They just asked that if you're done with your business, that you move on. And oh, absolutely. Can, okay, we grabbed your knife from you. So yes. what I'm going to do is mm -hmm. I'm going to, can we stick it inside until you leave? I would feel more comfortable. Oh, sure. Absolutely. See, I'm, I work with police. I ain't trying to do nothing. Actually, do you want it in the receiver? You can just put it in there. It doesn't matter. Sure. I would just feel more comfortable with that. Are you... Well, see, I deal with... There's a lot of drunks. Yes, I walk it around. I run, I'm the first man to cross the continental United States in his homemade car. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's 500 pounds. Yeah, man, here. Look, it's a survival knife. I got to deal with drug addicts, tweakers, meth addicts. Uh, mentally ill people in the streets all the time and I'm a journalist and I go into their camps and it's not safe. I've been gazed by bears, <laughs> all kinds of that crazy stuff. I come across the kind of divide with this. They smell food. So I've got a whole different bunch of animals down here. In the woods I was okay. But maybe I don't really need it. I have to feel it out when I get into the inner cities and where it gets really, really rough. I may have to put it there, but it's a defense. It's all I've got left. It's in my fist and I'm good with my hands and feet, but not that good. I'm 60 years old. Yes, I'm going to watch. I'm going to keep following this until I get to your state capitol building. Then I'm going to do a photo op with TV and newspaper, and then from there, I'm going into Wisconsin. Good. Well, good luck, brother. <laughs> All right, man. God bless you guys, man. Be safe and always be kind. <laughs> All right, God bless. All right, folks. There it is. Everything's cool and stuff. I think they would just check for warrants and everything, and and uh, it's really hard. Businesses need to relax a little bit. I was paparazzied here. But I know I seen 25 cars pulling after I came in, lots of pictures taken. So I'm sorry to bring all this attention, but if we end prohibition, it's over. And everybody can go home. We can lick our wounds. God bless everybody. Peace up and out. Let's have a Rasta heart and a one love. Rass I will reporting in a nice little city. Bye bye. No, sir, I wasn't. Okay. This is, um, all right, we have the police here, and they're advising me that uh, this. Uh, any craft that's over 10 feet has to be registered in Minnesota. Yep, yep, that's right. Yep. That's so what we're hearing right now. Okay. Yep, yeah, so you haven't gone to the Minnesota... Oh, State nothing. Office. No one. No one's ever told me or anything. And while we're building this, I've passed many officers in different jurisdictions. <laughs> you guys are the first. Yeah. Yeah, it's 16 foot long. Okay. And, um... See, what you need is you just... You have access to the internet and everything. Right? Yes, I do. Yep. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go onto the Minnesota DNR website. Uh-huh. I got a pamphlet here. Yeah, right on. I'm glad. Because <laughs> I'm going to try to get down to Illinois. Now, do I do this for every state? No, no. Once you do it in one state, since you started in Minnesota. Oh, you okay. It to Minnesota, so here. Right on. It's got the light, it's got the fees and everything. And if you do it online, you can just print it right up right away. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. You hear that, group? How much is the fee, do you know? I don't know. All right, group, you heard that too. So if I come begging for money, don't be stingy. All right, so as you can see right here, all right. Uh -huh. Oh, I believe you. That's what you said. Nope, nope. So you don't have to put the numbers that they give you. Uh huh. You just have to put the stickers on to the rear. Oh, right so on. On both sides. Okay. Now there's a town up here, Redwood or Red Wing. That's who I'm. Is there a public park I can pull in? You certainly can. There oh, is. right on. Cause it's getting late and stuff. <laughs> and I had a wild 30 mile ride from um, Prescott. Sure. I did sure. that from Prescott. I don't know how many miles it was, but brother, I. 
<laughs> I've been through so many dangers today. I'm just ready to settle down. <laughs> I bet. So, so like I said, you're not motorized, so you don't need to put the decals on. Okay. So you just got to put it on like this. All right. Well, I got it. Okay. I'll get it. So, and then in here should be the website and the number for it. Okay. So this is what I'm going to need from you, though. Mm -hmm. Are you a Minnesota resident or? No, I'm a homeless veteran. Homeless veteran? Yeah, so uh, I'm just well, kind of like, I really don't have, my last address is West Virginia. West Virginia? And that's on my driver's license. Vietnam vet? No, no, I'm too young for that. I've missed it back a couple years. Oh, where'd you, where, uh, vet from what then? Oh, just, we were at peace time. The only time in our country that we were probably at peace. Okay, I didn't know if it was yeah. maybe Gulf War or anything no, like that. No, uh, So you didn't see any deployment? No, no, my oh, mom God. and daddy are combat vets. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, my mama taught me how to do this activism when I was five years old, oh, marching yeah? for the American Legion. Good. <laughs> so, See, here well, we are again. There's one thing though. So, <laughs> yeah. I, what I want to do is I want to write you a warning. Yes. Okay, so, because I'm not the only guy that's out here. Okay. So, do you have any Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, hold on. on All right, folks, here, let me get my ID. Do you have life jackets on board or no? Yeah, I've got one right there. Okay, perfect. That's, I just want to make sure you have Yep. That. Let's see. All right, here, let me put the camera right here. Yeah, this is our first Seaway Adventure stop. And it's good. We'll record all this so anybody else who decides to build a raft. Now, if I built this in somewhere else, would it have been different, like in a different state? Well, see, if you would have had, kept it under 10, you wouldn't have had to worry about it here. But, yeah, some states have a different law than all that. Yeah. Yeah, the raft part was. Now, this part here was built in, this, in uh, Spokane, Washington, right here 14 months ago. And then I walked it across the nation here to Hidden Harbor and uh, built this raft there and joined the two together. And um, here we have a walkable houseboat. Do you have any help or anything? Uh, well, just from um, my supporters and, and people uh, who go past by and see me all the time. I get paparazzi so much. Sure. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, no doubt it. That's awesome. I, I thought I'd get a break on the river. I got paparazzi 50 times today. <laughs> I've told everybody here. Just Google that name. Can you go by Lawrence or? Uh, Ross Eibel now. Ross Eibel? Yeah. Yeah, Lawrence died when I went to prison for three ounces of marijuana and they took my farm and left me homeless. This is you, though? Yeah, that's me, brother. Look at that. Here. You, <laughs> you gonna make me shave now. No, no, they, they, they forced shave me in prison when I refused to, to shave from my religious rights. And this is my church. Yeah. Yeah, they put me in the hole for three months, thought they could break me, and I was like, can I stay another day, please? And they came and hog-tied me and shaved it off. That's gospel. That's not very nice. No. <laughs> but. So do you have enough food and water? Oh, yeah. Yes, there's a bunch of right there. That's okay. full of water. I've got another big jug there. Okay. And okay. look at all that canned corn and spam and spam. You all didn't hear that at home. You got um, uh, you have a way to charge your coin and everything? Yes, I do. It's all solarized. Um, I've got it solar-powered. Okay. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I've got all kinds of lights and beacons. Okay. I've got lights, the white ones for the back. I've got the green and red for the front right there. Okay. I've also got a, a blinking uh, strobe light up there. So if uh, helicopters need to find me or anything like that, <laughs> you, all, you all can find me. Okay. Yeah, it's all on light switches. I've got a big headlamp right here. That'll scare away the boogeyman. <laughs> so... Are you okay if I take a picture of this? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, help yourself, brothers. Please, absolutely, man. I've got a lot of officers who follow me on Facebook and stuff. Sure. Yeah, my best friend who helped me build uh, my farm and stuff. My first log cabin was a Baltimore City police officer. Really? And uh, he died of old age when I was in prison. Thanks. Yeah. It's a shame, but... <laughs> okay, well, I just want to like, uh, make sure you get that taken care of, because you might get stopped again. Okay, right. Obviously, you're. Yeah, you're I'm gonna go in this town up here. Okay. Yeah, just then all you have to do is just put it on the back, or probably put it on the wood. And you just print it off. I probably do it at the library. You can print it off, or you can actually, uh, if you print it off. Actually, if you do it online, they they want to mail it. They'll print you out a copy, so you can have like a paperwork, but they'll send the mm -hmm. ticket. So if you actually will go to like, there's a couple Four Season places. Yeah. Do you have a, a physical address here at the city? I can just go to the DNR or whatever it is. Uh, no, it'd be the DMV. I don't have the... Well, I look into it. The, Trust me, I will get it before I march on. I believe you. <laughs> you heard that, folks. But, all right, let me close this out. Bye-bye. I'll see you all soon. I'll upload this later on. Woo! Can't tell if the police or who they are. Yeah, they get badges, I think. Let's see who they want. Oh, it's the Sheriff's Department. Okay.
But see, they won't. What's going on? I wasn't speeding. I swear it. <laughs> Good. What state are you from? Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, I just crash landed over there twice. Trying to get off that shore. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Spokane, Washington. I found the Northwest Passage. But don't tell anybody this. Lewis and Clark couldn't do it, but I did it. Where are you going? I'm going to Washington, D.C. to park this. Made next to the White House. God willing. This is my church. I tried walking it, but people were paparazzi me so much it got dangerous. I put it on the river and come out here. And people still pop a rock to me. Yeah, I'm filming it. That's just for my documentary I'll do one day. I was on Facebook, but right now I'm boycotting all my followers because of their uh, lack of um, donations, I should say. Oh, yeah. You're a little better with that off. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Did you just stand right on here? Yeah, this is, this is my house here. I live here. I was a homeless veteran, and I built this. And um, this is what I live in. And I walk across the country with it. Uh, for 14 months now and over 2,000 miles and uh, in St. Paul Park is where I built this uh, craft and put this walkable house on top of it and now I'm on my way to DC I think I'm gonna take Highway 30 because this is just taking too long and um, from there I'll just finish walking it to DC but it's 500 pounds and I'm setting records in all these states I go through I haven't been able to do California yet all the way <clears throat> or Wisconsin well, I guess I will once I get to the, um, oh, uh, Clinton. Clinton. You heard that, folks. Clinton, Wisconsin, I think it is. And then from there, oh, no, that's Illinois. My bad. I'm not sorry about that. It's Illinois, and then from taking US 30 all the way to D.C. But let me cut this short because they'll fall asleep if I keep him rolling too long. All right. Peace up and out. Looks cool. You ain't going to beat me up or hijack me or nothing, right? No piracy. No. <laughs> okay. This is Raz Eibel with the live report. We've got an accident. Cars collided right here while the police officer, he was talking to me off here to the side. And um, these cars, they just they were moving too fast and weren't paying attention. So I'm gonna get over here in the grass and get out of the way. Get over here in a safe spot. And uh, there was a couple cars that connected, but those two there back there were the worst. And then the uh, two others, little kiss there. But look at that, oh my God. This happens all the time, people. We need to get this stuff <laughs> legal uh, and get me off the road because I'm doing my own thing over here, but people are looking so much because this little peacemaker has captivated the world. And we want to end the prohibition, and so does everybody else. So let's end it. And uh, we can, all of us soldiers and the POWs who are still in prison for marijuana, we need to let them out so everybody can go home and we'll put all this behind us. And we'll start all over new, okay? So, we're still, I'm still trying to figure out how to get out of this town. I'm going to have to wait till tonight. And there's uh, 14 and 61. I'll try to shoot up there if I can. But it looks like the officer's are under control. He's got everything good. Um, everybody's staying in their cars. Man, it's a good thing he was on the scene here. So, but wherever the peacemaker, I'm telling you, Lord it be. God bless you all. Many prayers for these victims and these people here and our patients. <laughs> okay, this is stop 212, take five. <laughs> All right, what's, what's going, going on? on? Nothing. I'm Officer Wolver, how you doing? Pleased to meet you. Good, what's going on? Well, the reason why I stopped you is because we got some callers calling in. Cause you're in traffic a little bit uh -huh. and that's probably just going around the cars yeah it's bogus and they're actually violating my civil rights for uh religious right. freedoms as a mennonite and a quaker and amish and they're supposed to go around because i've got the word symbol back there and uh so it's basically citizens being uncitizens I'm they should have never why, called no, oh no, yeah i'm just telling you why they called right on I'm man you yeah they're wasting things. your Where time from because i'm from annapolis maryland okay. and uh, actually if people would just google my name ras eibel which most people do they'll actually come up to me and say hey i googled your name found out everything about you and um, here's some money or here's a shake of a hand or something okay and that's what people do 
But uh, why did I keep getting stopped for over 212 times? Yeah. I don't know if that's the exact number, but it's pretty darn close, folks at home. And um, and by citizens alone, a thousand. I've been kicked out of places, establishments, businesses simply because they don't like the marijuana leaf. Totally wrong. I come from a combat veteran family. My mama was a combat veteran nurse. My dad is a five-year veteran on a battleship in the South Pacific. Okay. Uh, you know, this is just horrible. Two brothers, Vietnam era vet. I'm a veteran. Right. My, we have sons that are veterans. This is totally wrong. This is not our, you know, what we're supposed to do. But um, I appreciate you stopping me. But if you'd like, I'd ask you just Google my name like I tell everybody else because I'm trying to get to Milwaukee. And um, I've got a mission. Huh? How'd you get the walking shot? I walked here from, uh, from Maryland? Spokane. From Spokane, Washington? That's why I said, look at all them states I've been to. And if you Google my name, Rass Heibel again, it'll give you more information than the FBI will give you. So how long have you been walking? 16 months. So this, this is no new. Yes. <laughs> 16 months and over 3,000 miles. So I've been through so many jurisdictions, it yeah, ain't yeah. even funny. Oh, I hear you. I just don't want you to get hit. Oh, I just don't want to hit anybody. <laughs> I'm more worried about them because if they hit me, then they're gonna have to worry about me. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. want you to get hit. That's why people are calling because <laughs> they're almost hitting you. When well, that's their fault. Then give them a ticket. Make sure you get their name and find out yeah. who they are because they're probably the speeding. Where are you I've been behaving to? myself off on the side where I'm supposed to. Yeah, where are you walking to now? I'm going to Milwaukee. For what? And see, I'm being interrogated, folks at home, and I haven't even done nothing yet. Nobody's and interrogating. I'm just asking you where you're walking to. I know, but Google my name, sir. If that's here, you want my ID, just go ahead, because I can sue this city, too. I think we've already got them on the lawsuit list for um, discrimination and profiling. Who? Uh, the city. Us? Yes, sir. When was that? Uh, I think one of your officers last night, or a high patrol. Well, we got another one here, folks. Hello, sir. How you doing? You're We're filming this city. for uh, YouTube you and Facebook. Last night. Oh man, I walk all the time. Okay. Now I'd like to go if I can. I'm pretty tired. I'm getting hungry again. So either I'm under arrest or give me a ticket or just something. I mean, I don't know. Well, we need you to stay out of traffic. That's all we need. Yes, and okay. I'm in a bike lane. That specifically, this highway is the only one safest to Milwaukee. Now we've already checked out the other interstates, bike lanes, nothing. This is the only thing left. I've got to choose from. So I'm just asking, please let me proceed unmolested. No, uh -huh. you. <laughs> well, okay. And this is there's no bike lane on this road. Well, sir, there's a there was arrows back there that says bike lanes. Matter of fact, let's see if we can find one. There, there is right there, folks. You see right back there where it says that line, and you can actually see the arrows back there. So I just showed them. Like <laughs> no, it's got actually the arrows pointing this way, and for yeah. it to go this way. The line doesn't continue. Well, okay. all right, folks, we're going to call the city hall and we'll probably be protesting down there or I'll just send some people, activists or have phone calls made. But we'll find out exactly where is the bike trail uh, that goes around here. So may I go or do you want yeah, my absolutely. ID? No, absolutely. We just, I just don't want to see you get hit. I told you. I know. I understand that. Because they're concerned that you are going to. You get know hit. how often I hear that, officer, what? from so many other police officers. You think and now some of it's legit. It no, some of it's legit. Honestly, okay. when I was up through Montana, coming across the Rockies, yeah, some of that because I had to ride right down the highway with, it, with tractor trailers and everything yeah. because they had no shoulder, folks. Uh, but here on the East Coast, they seemed a little bit more advanced in civilization. They have more bike trails and stuff. But um, I don't know why these people are calling in. There's some really nosy people around here. That's all I got to say. Nothing against the officers here. They're just doing their job. But unfortunately, nosy people, these men could be out catching child molesters and rapers and, and the homicide, people who do that kind of stuff. Not out here catching peaceful activists. So God bless you, man, and be careful in your job. Just like I'm risking my life at my job trying to help our America and teach this? people to be American again. You'll see this next to the White House. What is this? My house is to be an American, like my mama taught me when I was five years old. She's a commander of the American Legion, and she knew all about what Americanism was about. So I'm heading to the White House to park this right next to it. So we'll have a greenhouse. We're going to have a White House, so folks. In Spokane, are you from Washington? No more questions. I'm taking the Fifth oh, Amendment, just, sir. Just, just Google you're it. Not under arrest for the Fifth Amendment. I know. God bless you. Okay. Well, I look, I'm going to turn my cameras off here, but I ain't going to turn them off until you guys leave me alone. <laughs> because you may pull out your night sticks, start beating me up for nothing. I don't know. I've been through some, some situations, trust me. Airway Heights. Everybody's been through situations. Yeah, go to YouTube, Airway Heights, please, and you'll see what they did to me and why I am the way I am today. That's what did it to me. Everybody else, all the other police officers, have been good, good guys. And I can't, I ain't got nothing bad to say against you all. Right, good luck. 
right. Let's film this. Is this a state truck? Look, he ain't even giving that officer no room. Come on, boy. See, he could have hit you right when your back is turned. Bye. God bless you, everybody. <laughs> Now I'm trying to be nice, Lord. I swear, this is like twice by police in one day. Now, early this morning you saw when I posted. People would just Google my name, they find out all about it. It's Ross Ibel, R-A-S-I-B-L-E. Tell your friends, your neighbors, and whoever, but there should be like some kind of, maybe a national hotline so Americans can travel freely without being molested. Peace up and out. Right, row. <laughs> They're already coming out. <coughs> I surrender. I ain't done nothing yet. My hands are up. Y'all can see my hands are up. What's going on? Oh, okay. She asked me to turn my camera off. Is there a problem or anything? I'll turn it off for you, but I'm recording our audio. I have that right. Well, to record us, yeah. One thing that you don't have the right to do is to be on this side. Oh, okay. That's yeah. all you had to ask me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll see y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that simple, y'all. Goodbye. I'm going to go this way. I guess it leads out. Sir? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, it goes back that way? Yeah. That will just take you to Scribner, which is really busy. It's a one-way street. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, let me go out the same way I came in, then. See, it's not so much peace around here, is it? I was about to do a good story and a report here, but I'm um, afraid not. One love, y'all. We got a poor, poor country. Bye. Hey, buddy. Hey, now. How are you? Very good. How are you? Good. What's going on? Hey, the only reason I'm stopping you is somebody called us and said you were swinging a stick. Yes, sir. That the the car. This is. Yes, they got to keep swerving at me. They keep gazing and falling into this gaze, and they're coming near the white line and hitting me. I've been hit before, and the sword of the Lord is just a rule stick, and it gives me so many feet to gauge how close they are to me. That's how far they are when my arm is stuck out. If they're going 55 miles an hour, they need to move over a little bit more and slow down. That's the law. Well, I'm a, like a Mennonite and a Quaker. This does kind of draw some attention. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, but I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I no, actually I traveled all last night, so I wouldn't um, have to be on the road during the day. But I looked at the conditions. I'm pretty sure I can get by. There's plenty of spaces in between the wolf yeah, it's packs. Gonna get, it's going to get real tight down yeah, there. Yeah, I call them wolf packs, but they come in wolf packs from the stoplights, and they're just jockeying for position. They don't care who right. gets run over, animals, humans, it doesn't bicycles. But anyway, what I usually do in construction areas is I get behind the construction line with them guys. Then when I get up to the point where they're actually working, then I get out of the way, they stop for me, and I run by real quick, right. and then I continue. Do you have any idea or anything? Like uh, that? Yep. Okay, since I'm recording you, I will give it to you. Okay. But normally, um, I just tell them my name. Here we are, people. This is another day, another stop. This is, I think, my fourth stop in um, less than six hours. I've been in... Oh, I've been stopped by police in, uh, there you go, uh, four times now okay. within that, like six hours. That That's VA? my military ID. Okay. VA. I'm just going to hold on to my machine here. Oh, well, you're good. Okay. I'm just giving the people what it looks like out here on the highway, what I'm up against. I can imagine what the Quakers and the Mennonites do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Washington, D.C. I'm parking this next to the White House. I'm the first man to cross the North America walking a, a rickshaw. So it's been a, quite an accomplishment. Uh, no narcotics, no anything, brother. Just all natural remedies of walking. That's cannabis. Yeah, I'm watching this for an end to prohibition. So all of our veterans throughout all 50 states can have access to this medicine. So where are you coming from? Uh, Spokane, Washington, 17 months ago. But I went to California and Hawaii and walked back. <laughs> yeah, I walked to the edges of the earth. Not with this one. 
So I'm on Facebook. I got all kinds of fans around the world. And these are all the states that I've been crossed through now. I've got many officers who have joined me on Facebook and are my friends now. So, yeah. Well, hey, good luck. Thank you. I'll tell you. No, it's more than luck. It's Jesus. That you got me here. Listen. Yes, sir. This gets real tight down here. Oh yeah. It gets real busy because there's an interstate that crosses over a state route. Okay. And there's all this construction. I don't want to see you run over. Okay. What I'll do in this case, once I, I get down there and I can really start to gauge it, um, I may have to just pull over on the side and wait till tonight. So if, if they see me, that's why I'm there. Is just I'm waiting for traffic a volume to go down. Every day. You too, buddy. God bless you. Thank you. Be safe. All right, everybody. Another highway adventure. It's all cool, everybody. So God bless, and we'll see you in Washington, D.C. shortly. Yeah, Ohio has a lot more hills than I thought. Woo! Peace up. Let's make it legal. We have an officer here. We're recording now, and someone had called and saw, said they saw a drunken man pulling no, a wagon. Not what I said. Oh, okay. What is it again? I said it was a man that was dressed as a horse oh. pulling a wagon. Oh, okay. My bad. So My hearing's bad. I didn't bad. say a drunken man. I there you go. Was, uh, okay. Man, the, the caller said there was a man dressed as a horse pulling a wagon down 303. <laughs> Look, I admit I've been walking so for, for 3,000 miles. And uh, for 17 months now, and I do feel part horse. Okay. <laughs> Watch that traffic, sir. Well, I saw you. Yeah. I saw you struggle. Yeah, this the is not. Here, so please hold this and check it out. I want you to inspect right. it. Oh, I don't need to inspect it. You sure? It, yeah. It's just a yardstick. Okay. And I call it the sword of the Lord. All right. And it has protected me for the last um, about four or five days now, when I almost got run over by a tractor trailer. And that's when I invented this to go with this unit, and it works beautifully okay. because cars respect that. So what are what what is our what is our oh, goal here? What what are we? I'm what traveling are we at night trip? now because too many people are stopping me in their cars, and they're taking pictures and they're stopping in the road with cameras and okay. they're just causing they're going to cause a major accident. I've seen too many close calls. Okay, so as opposed so, to them trying to get off the yeah. road and say, "Hey, can I get a picture with you?" They're oh, not even that. Traffic. They'll stop right there in the road, yeah, man, and take idea. pictures. And cars are climbing down on them. So what I'm doing is. I've waited till tonight when there's less traffic around and stuff, and uh, that way there's I don't have to deal with the motors and the paparazzis. And no, so I, I okay. yeah, I'm traveling at night for so the you, safety of everybody. Uh, I came from Spokane, Washington, no 17 kidding. months ago. Well, you're you're heading back. You're yes, heading back west. Well, I, I tried to get through a route that Google told me to go. It's impossible now. The geography has changed here. We're into hilly country. This is 560 pound machine. So yeah. what I've got to do is I've got to get back onto the U.S. highways like I've done all across the nation okay. and stick with it until I get to Pennsylvania. Well, you don't mean the interstates. No, not interstates, oh, okay. but these U.S. highways, the state, 42. State routes and stuff. Yeah, because okay. they got a shoulder. As you can see, there's no shoulder, man, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fighting for my life all out right. here besides physically pulling this machine. Yeah. There's another well, officer. I told the officer, I guess, did you got to come check this out. I, I, this is, I mean, I've been doing this 14 years, and I've never experienced uh, Thank you, sir. Like this. Yeah, that's what all the I, police. I saw, I saw a bunch of the, the <laughs> so, so you're, you're from Spokane, Washington? No, I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. Okay, so, and, so you started out in Spokane with this rig? Yes, yeah, 17 months ago. Okay, so and, where, where'd you go And walked there? it. Uh, California, uh, back up the coast again, to Washington, all across the Rockies, Glacier Park, so did you, Idaho. Did you, did you pull this by hand to Ohio? You, just like you're seeing me now, brother. I crawled over mountains. Oh, one step oh, at a time. At 500 pounds. 560 pounds. All right. One all step right. at a time. So... And there's no brakes. I haven't been to them yet. They'll come. But the main thing is... Just some wheel chops, maybe. Just a yeah, well, scrap firewood this is the new automobile of the future. And it's human-powered, so it's going to be less work for you guys. You'll be able to chase these things down like nothing. Uh, we want to end prohibition. I'm going to go park this next to the White House and live for a minute. I was a homeless veteran, but I built this little tiny house. Dude. Kitchen, bathroom, solar powered. It's a beautiful living arrangement. Can I take a look? Do you mind? I've just never, sure. seen, I've just never seen anything like it. Uh... Okay, I've got to stay up near the front because these are my oh, brakes. Oh, yeah, here. I'll kind of put my foot here. So there you so. go. Oh, look at that. Check right. this out, man. So, so, so it's kind of insulated. So oh, yeah. I stay warm and everything. The rain. This has saved my life from hypothermia. I'm 60 yeah, so, years so you old. You got a little map. You got a little cooking stove. That's kind of... Oh, a, yes. So what's the chassis? Is it just a homemade, like... Piece of... Um, just two by fours and plywood. Okay. Bottom, and that's it. And I've got one that even goes in the water and floats. All These right. wheels act as a buoyancy. Well, you said you said you were going to park this outside the White House, but you're heading west. Yeah, well, look. See where it goes 42 south? Yeah. I'm turning. Okay. I'm going down 42 South because I know there's a shoulder on that road. If it's not, well, it's double no, there's, lane. There's not. That's the, that's the problem. There's well, a, they're going to have to share the road. Is it dual lane or single? Well, for, well, it all depends. Like 42, 
it's kind of three lanes. It's got like a dedicated center turn lane. Great. And there's areas that it goes to two lanes. Well, that's okay. That's so, how I traveled the nation. Yeah, They're just going to have to share the road. That's okay. all there is to and it. you're only moving at night? Well, I have to until I get to Pennsylvania or unless the road conditions soften up. Okay. Right now, I'm in a very difficult spot. Well, I'm not I've got well, all these hills. I can't escape these hills. Well, and I'm just trying to, if you want to continue, <coughs> if you want to continue eastbound, though, like mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania. Yes. Um, I'm trying to get to D.C., but that's that's the long way around going yeah, well, like, 303. As, as soon is the as, road better? Well, as soon as you get on 42 here, you're going to start heading back west. So you, it, it, I mean, if you're truly trying to get east... For, well, I know i got to go south to Medina. Yeah, even though it's 42 south, it's going to kind of take you... Yeah, it, take I know, away. I know. That's cool. So then, like, what, what's your game? Like, over to, like, route... From Medina? Like, route 18, or... Yes. Okay. Yes, and yes. That'll, that'll run you out through Akron. And yes, out. exactly. And it's a lot bigger. I know they've got a shoulder on that road. I know they've got to. Well, to yeah, yeah, that, that's a five-lane That's a five lane roadway, so there, there should be a shoulder there. Okay. All right. So wow. that's the plan. Yeah, I've got to go west a teeny bit to Medina, but that's where I've got to pick up 18, and then take it there, as far to Pennsylvania as I can. Yeah, and I see you, man. I see you right here. I'll let you step down here okay. so this thing doesn't roll back down the hill on us. I was kind of chugging it. So mm -hmm. I see you got the, the flashing red lights just to kind of let people know. Those are magnetic. Just kind of, yes. you know, give and you some type I've of got this too. Look, this chases away the boogeyman. They think it's police. Okay, so how is and they power, run. How, how is that powered? You just got bat battery. Yeah, there's a battery underneath. So it's solar powered by the sun. Jeez, oh man. All right. Yep. So, dude, I, and I look, look like at my beacon. Look at my church beacon. I, I saw that. I, I feel like I feel like we we ended prohibition. So I'm, what, what what is your, uh, what is your message? Well, be for federal right prohibition now, in or in in I'm in Ohio here. You're still illegal now. I know they've got stuff in the works to get it legal for everybody as a medicine, and for, I think even what? recreational cannabis, oh, okay. medical Carolina. marijuana. Okay. Yeah, okay. and uh, that's so what that's I'm the advocating. You're referring oh yes, to. Okay. it's okay. the only one we have that I know of. Well, that's why I just I mean, like, when I see the word prohibition, I associate it with alcohol. I'm like, I thought we. Oh yeah. Fixed that I'm pretty sure we. Well, did. you believe people? Some people okay. don't even know the definition of that word prohibition because i've been stopped and asked that so i don't know if they're really playing with me years, yeah i did 15 years they took my farm and left me homeless in west virginia for three ounces of marijuana and so when they left me off parole i went on this nationwide march and i've been on it for 17 months it's a pilgrimage and uh believe me it's a it's a life opening experience <laughs> it's, it will change your life trust me and it's for the better i came out a better man i studied law and uh so i'm going to go use my civil rights law that i've studied constitutional and take it to washington dc and maybe we can abolish congress and get our nation back in order again because they're the ones that are keeping everybody fighting between each other they're instigating all the hate and, yeah. and all this stuff no if we can abolish them and let 50 governors run our world affairs and then add the constitution with a referendum brother we've got the final say well, that's I'm, democracy I, I'm, yeah, I'm relieved to so. see you got a lot of reflectors <clears throat> a lot of red flashing lights on here they're oh you bet LED, so they, they last quite a bit oh they can't uh, if they miss me it was intentional they hit me yeah i mean because I, I know like if you continue out 303 getting into hinkley and richfield you've got some significant hills that's what i heard i've got to avoid it so, yeah, i'm I, going I, to medina and there, taking so taking the highway out 18. Out to, out to yeah please look for me on facebook because i posted a message for you guys today what did, just about what, and 20 minutes ago uh google ras Ibel, and you can join me on Facebook. What, what is it? Ross Eibel, right there. Oh, R-A-S-I-B-L-E. It will tell okay. you everything about me, more than what the FBI knows. For real. What is Ross? <laughs> it's my that's my spiritual name. Yeah. Okay. Ross is Prince in Ethiopian language, and Eibel is real close to my last name, Seibel. So right. and Eibel and eyes are sacred in our religion, which is Rastafarian. I'm like a Mennonite and a Quaker and an Amish, except I don't want to use a horse and I'm a little more colorful. But we play to the same Jesus. I was raised sure, Baptist sure. and everything. So what, what, but, what's your association with this? The, uh, the this was a Polish guy here uh, from Poland. He has one leg. And we started racing each other across the nation. And the brother, he beat the pants off me oh, in a wheelchair. He's a wheelchair. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's unbelievable. And he's raising money for this little baby right here. So I'm helping his group by putting his message on my wall. And this is for veteran suicides. They're 22 each day. Yeah. And um, you know, I was a, uh, one of these veterans, yeah, and uh, I know that cannabis helps me, man. A lot of people and have been doing 22 push-ups a day for that. Oh, right on. That? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh -uh. There's a whole big movement to do 22 push-ups a day. Oh, brother, I do probably like so, 200 a day, especially when I get into cities at stoplights. That's what I do in between um, push-ups. <laughs> yeah, that's what oh, I do. here. put it that way, I can see that. <laughs> see? Something fell, but... Is that one-handed? 
Yeah, yeah that's a one-handed one. Handed one. But he's, he's recording because apparently, you know, he was a he, good. Well, as, I, as I walked up, he said, <laughs> wasn't sure if I was a good cop or a bad cop. And I said, well, I'm, I'm hoping I'm a good cop. I'm just trying to. You know, <laughs> Look, I've been through all kinds of situations. To, I got oh, it. Oh, I can only understand. You, you've run across your, Man, fair, your, fair of, uh, your fair share of people. Yeah, is exactly. Anything, is there anything that we can do for you to, to, I, make, to make your journey safer? Yeah, just watch the speeders and stuff. Yeah. And um, which I know you do. And um, well, basically, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Fort all up here, it's 35 miles an hour, so it does help a little bit. But as soon as you get like south of Sleepy Hollow, yep. it turns into 45. There's no more street lights and stuff like that. That's There's cool. There's a couple that's turns. Really yeah. So really, tr you know, try to you know, do Oh, I do my best uh, to stay to the right and shoulder all the time. It sticks out far enough that you can kind of see what's yeah, coming I've up behind you. Yeah, I've got to clean it, so too. Look at that, the fog. That, uh, that'll certainly help. If you know what, how far have you traveled today? Uh, well, I actually got pinned down. I've only was able to leave this morning and got maybe like five miles today. And I actually had to circle back around and come back onto this road here so I could pick up 42. It was just treacherous going on three, I think it is. You started in Spokane, way, Washington. 17 months ago. But I usually do 20 to 50 miles, and 50 miles is my best. 20 to 30 is what I average a day. So, so how, many, how often do you go through shoots? This is actually only like the fifth pair. And the other ones were just defective or something. So it's really not that bad. I'm watching him pull it, pull it, pull it up this grade, and he's just digging and pushing. And I, <laughs> I just talk. <laughs> it's a true, brother. I'm telling you, but it's, it's worth every struggle and every sweat and every tear because I've got so much time to ponder and pray. Oh, and it just it's so spiritual and enlightening because all of our ancestors used to walk. It's only these last 70 years everybody became seat pets. And it's detrimental. My back was almost crippled. I was going to the emergency room once a month getting shots because of the lifestyle that we were bred. So I said, I'm done with it all. Gave away the keys to my RV I just restored. Okay. Everything, computer, I gave it all away yeah. and started walking like Jesus. Just and guess what? I'm healed and breaking world records now. Is a, that amazing? A, a quick question. Yes, sir. In the event, and I, I pray, I honestly pray that it, it doesn't happen, but in the event somebody's not paying attention, do you get excited? Do you carry some type of ID with you so when paramedics and stuff show up, they oh, yeah. they know who you are? And stuff yeah, like I'll that? just go like, okay. Google my name. Well, <laughs> Google my name. A, but that's the thing. But yeah, it does. at the camper, I wouldn't know that this would be your Facebook name. Oh, no, you would? No, it comes so up it, like that. Yeah, just no, if you Google my carry. name, there'll be dozens of newspaper articles that relate my real name. And I'm not even going to tell you my real name now. Okay. Well, you don't have to I, I can't oh, because, yeah. huh? If you want to, great. I'll be I happy to brag to about you because this is incredible. Your real name. Yeah, it's Lawrence Edward Seibel, just to save me from digging my ID and just to give you guys a peace of mind. But if you Google my name, there's a newspaper article today that just came out. It tells you my real name. What paper? Uh, the Chronicle Tribune. Is that your paper here? The Chronicle. Um, well, we have like the Brunswick Sun-Times. I'm not sure who, who in the area. Oh, the big well, here. Here, can you hold that door? Yeah, 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 I got you. yeah this is, um, I just taped it out. It's Joe from the, from the Chronicle Center. Telegram. And he did a story here. And then there, there's all kinds Joe of reporters and TV Joe stuff. The Chronicle. Yeah, oh, is that like up in Lorraine, the Chronicle? Oh, I guess. I yeah, don't I know. I mean, that's they, like up in the Lorraine area. People so just, Chronicle. reporters come from everywhere, and I just don't even keep track of them all. I just today had a chance to go through some of the articles because I sat and rested at the bottom of the hill until traffic died down uh, so I could move safely. Because I tell you what, if I came up that hill today, I would have had traffic backed up for five miles. Yeah. So, how, so, in, so your, in your last, in your journey, last time, like how many, how many police contacts have you had? Just people just checking on you oh, based on, you know, callers, stuff like that? I've had over. 200 and something times I've been stopped by police. Okay. It's over 200 and something times. Homeland Security. Just checking uh, on your welfare and stuff, making sure everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, the majority of the policemen are just um, curious. That's I, all. I know I was. That's why <laughs> they heard on the radio, I'm like, you got to see this yeah. to believe it. Because, I mean, it's the, the, the call came in and a guy dressed like a horse pulling a buggy. And I even got oh, on the radio, I'm like, God. are we sure it's just not an Amish buggy? Like, I mean, I... But yeah, and then I, I saw it, I'm like, oh. oh, yeah, this is for real. I've uh, I've never encountered anything like this. Oh, so. bless your heart, man. Well, sir, I'm not going to hold you up anymore. I mean, you are more than equipped <laughs> to be... Uh, I, yeah, and he's got a slow moving. I'm trying to think of what you actually... The orange you know, sign, he's yeah. Got, he's got flashing red lights on the back. He's got mirrors on the I've side. I've got more he's than got a minute I mean, it's, uh, the wagon. 
I mean, you're I you're good to go. Different than any and this is my church. <laughs> I, I, I more than appreciate your time. You've been you've been very informative. <laughs> uh, we'll pass the word along to the guys right. in Medina and stuff. Yeah. Let them know down there that I'm coming. If they want, just bring some coffee yeah. and donuts. Are you able to go on a sidewalk <laughs> at all, or is this sometimes? Oh yes, yeah. I've been on Probably sidewalks. Too wide in a lot of yeah, areas. this year's gonna would be a little rough for me. It would it would draw a lot of energy, and then I'd have to go around these signs, especially the trees and overhangs. So, but anytime I can use a sidewalk, believe me, I am on it. Where where, where <laughs> are you planning on stopping for tonight? Oh, I'm not. I'll be 20 miles. I'll be in Medina by tonight. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You're six miles away. That's that's it. Yeah. Oh, rocking on. No, I'm going to keep yeah, going until yeah. I hit the to Pennsylvania the, to the, border. Yeah, to the center of Medina, you're probably from this intersection to there, probably eight miles. Oh, that's nothing for and me. Most of it's downhill. Then you'll get by oh, a golf what? course. You'll have a, a decent little uphill climb, and then it, it levels back off. I love you, man. Oh, thank you. See, I love news like that. I, I travel that route every day to come from. Oh. I live down there. Well, so I'm going that way, and I'm heading to Pittsburgh. If we're almost done, can I push this a little bit? Yeah, if you want to try it, try it, man. Hey, step on it. You better step on it. Here, let me. You'd be the first one. I'm holding. You'd be the very first one to ever try it. So you just kind of had, you just you kind of put your chest against these um, pads? Yeah, on this one, you can lift it up. See how that? Now just put your shoulders like a football player into it. Put your shoulders into it. Use your shoulders if you want, but it's a little low for him. Yeah, it should be higher because he's tall. Look at that. So you got a little drag wheel on the back so it doesn't tip over on you. So yes, you're and going that. downhill, it rides on that back wheel. And I don't even have to push it or nothing. I can actually jump out of the cockpit. Yeah, we need to get you some wheel chocks. Look, I can even jump out of the cockpit and run beside it going downhill. Oh, no, I'm good, fellas. Yeah, I could done. I'm almost home. I've done crossed yeah. the nation of the North American well, continent. Me, there's probably, like, this is our parks department. There's probably some firewood back there if you want a couple pieces uh, just to act as makeshift. I've got two little paint cans I use. Okay. Yeah, I'll right. pop one on each Dude, side. Are you good with, like, water? No, I've got everything. Food? Water, food, man. I'm, I'm good sure? with everything. Yeah. All right. Yeah, God bless you, though. That was pretty right. neat, man. You're the first one uh, policeman ever well, drove I, it. I can't pass up an opportunity like that. <laughs> Here, let me come around. Yeah, you're the first one. Right on. Yeah, I just did a matter right. of fact, a policeman from the capital of, let's see, what's the state beside us here? I just came through what? Well, here, take was five bucks for your journey and get some water or food or whatever. See, you folks. Need on the road and, uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless I mean, you, man. We, well, we've had some heat here in Ohio lately. It was in the mid 80s last week, which is unusual. <laughs> so, uh, that get you another gallon of water or something, uh, have at it. Yeah, yeah get the other ones. I got a, I got another, I got, I have a dollar, maybe even two. Oh, you sure so want here, check this out. This this was given to us by the Grace Baptist Church for Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, right on. So I'll I'll pay that forward as well. You can stop See that, folks? You need a Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, to like <laughs> get a coffee or something like that. Oh, man, and God bless you guys. You laugh as you go out Route 18 from a diner. You'll pass a Dunkin' Donuts on 42, but they're going to be closed. Okay. But if you head back out, when you cross over Interstate 71 and 18, there's a plaza on your left. There's a Dunkin' Donuts up in there as well, right when you get to Windfall Road. So Okay. All right, let me all right, see Lord, you going, hey, God bless you, Best man. of luck to you, all right? All right thank you so care. much, you man. Good luck. Please you got be some careful. Stay safe. Yeah, you, I do. <laughs> you must be a farmer at work, too, huh? I got, I got big parents, you know. I got big, I got big, I got big monkey mitts. All right, hey, guys. be safe, all right? All right I take will. Care. Take I care, love man. you. Thank you now. Bye-bye. All right, everybody on Facebook. I'm going to finish climbing this hill, man. This this makes a great story. I hope you all like it. Peace up and out. <laughs> Rass Ivel from Ohio. woo <laughs> it's all peaceful, folks. This is Rass Apple here reporting. We're just getting some directions from some good peace officers here. Here's the manager, probably wanting to know what's going on. So we're high talented out of here. Bye bye. Peace up and out. Woohoo! Stop 200 and something. <laughs> what we got now? Let's see what size you coming on. Sometimes you're there, sometimes you're there. <laughs> my legs are so tired, I wish he'd come on. I'm trying to get to my route. What's going on? Huh? Well, I'm trying to get to my destination, but everybody keeps stopping me. It's, uh, well, if people would just Google it, my name's on it, and uh, it's on the other side over here, too, and um, that's what people do, and then they learn all about what I'm doing and stuff, okay, so. Can we just take a seat over here? I don't, have oh, forbid, sure. Heaven forbid, I don't want you to get hit by no Oh, believe me, I've done uh, 17 uh, uh, months and 4,000 miles now. Seven, oh, that's right. 
So I'm trying to get going here while there's hardly any traffic. If you let me proceed on my way, please, because I'm very tired. My legs are sore. I just climbed some of the toughest grades I've ever done in this entire journey. So um, whatever you want, let's go ahead and get it over with, brother, because I got to roll. Well, let me see this thing here. What is it a bike? Yeah, why are you stopping me though? We're filming this for our Facebook group for thousands around the world and on YouTube. Uh, so um, that's what we'd like to know. I, I'm sorry I'm short of my, my mood right now, but like I said, I just climbed some of the steepest grades I've ever climbed. I'm almost at the destination here at the trailhead I've been where, walking on. Yeah, so where, where are you I, headed to? I'm going to Washington, D.C. to park this thing, sir. Wow, where are you coming from then? I'm coming from Spokane, Washington. You Google my name right there, you'll find TV, newspaper articles, and all kinds of stuff, what I'm doing. Are you, is this thing, all, how do you smooth this thing? I pick it up and I walk it. You watched me, didn't you? Or did you just all I, of a sudden pull me over? Well, you gotta realize, sir, there's this big box, okay? So I, I didn't know if this was a bike. I'm just checking on your safety first, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, let me. Okay, yeah, I know, get out of the road. All right, brother, but look, I've gotta go, please. Please. Okay. Yeah, you said you had lights on. Okay, there is lights on this thing. <laughs> See, people on Facebook, what I have to go through all the time, and all it takes is just one city policeman uh, to violate your rights, and uh, it just goes like that. We remember what happened at Airway Heights, Washington State. If you go on Facebook, you'll find everything I have. You'll even see this video here in a few minutes on Facebook. Okay. My only concern is, I, A, I don't want you to get hit by no vehicles. Did let me proceed. The traffic's getting thicker as we talk here. I understand that. Yes, sir. I'm pushing this thing. I don't think this is the safest route here. It is the safest route. I've done travel. Have you ever driven a rickshaw like this? Well, I have, 17 months and 4,000 miles. Well, I know what I'm doing, sir. I just pulled it across North America. Now, all of a sudden, you're deciding that may not be safe here. This is about the safest route I've got. I've been there. I'm so happy to be out of the mountains. Now, may I please go as the traffic is increasing? You all are seeing this at home here. I'll be uploading this in a second. Now, please, sir, may I go? Just be careful, sir, okay? I don't want, like I said, I don't want you to get hit. Thank you, sir. God bless you. All right, everybody, this is the bike road. You can see right there, share the road, bike thing. You can see I'm all lit up here, everybody. Matter of fact, while the officer's standing here, I'm just gonna prove to you. Now, people at home, if you can, if someone misses this, well, then you intentionally hit me. That's all I gotta say, and God forbid, because there's gonna be millions around the world who are gonna want you. Peace up and out, everybody. God bless. Harass Albert reporting from Pennsylvania. Woohoo! Stop 252. City of who is it now? <laughs> hey. Am I on the right bike path? Am I on the right bike path? This road, will it lead me to where the bike path is? I'm on the trail. It's called the Gap. It's part of the Gap Trail. Do you know about it? Okay, because I don't have any internet connection and it just went out. So I'm trying to navigate myself the best I can to Washington, D.C. following the river. I've already been 4,000 miles. I started 17 months ago in uh, Spokane, Washington, and I'm here talking to you today. So... I'm rolling on. If you want, you can Google my name, Ras Eibel. There's a lot of TV and newspaper stuff on what I'm doing. So, because many, many of you officers are curious of what I'm all about and what's going on. So, I don't know. I'm sure people have called in and they'll probably call your hotline. Every city I go to, there's so many jurisdictions, county, state, uh, just on and on. But nobody, nobody notifies the other jurisdictions. So, but anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so... Do you have anything you want with me, huh? Do you have anything you want with me or anything? No, man. You're good to go. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just an activist. I'm going to park this next to the White House, and uh, God willing, and you'll see it on the news if I do make it, I'm sure, it'll be in the paper or something. But now this road here, will this eventually connect me and follow the river 
I mean, then I'll be able to do that. So I'm just going to keep hugging it until I get my internet back. This road will take you to Route 51, which runs along the river. Southbound. Yeah, but is there a bike path or doesn't? Because 51 was dangerous as heck coming up through that area over here. That's why they put us on the, over here on this path. Okay. Well, if you get any calls, that's why I'm here. I'll just be navigating, and I'll stay out of the way as best I can. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Be safe in your job. Right on. All right, everybody. Everything's cool and stuff. They're just checking it out. I'm going to keep navigating my way around. Peace up and out. Rass I will reporting from my mama's home state, Pennsylvania. Woohoo! Thank you, Mama. All around the world and stuff that are following this little wagon and everything. And uh, it's teamwork. It's what we're doing to get this here. And a lot of the community and citizens have all pulled together and brought this here. Okay. So. Well, we just want to get you to where you're going safely. Thank you. Okay. God so bless you, have, brother. If you have help coming, that's good. Okay. Yes, sir. And we'll come back and check and, and uh, see if we can do that. Yeah. Get you on your way. Oh, right on. Yeah, they said this should be about a half hour. Okay. And so. Give or take a little bit, we'll do that, wait until see then. And that was like, I got the message on Facebook about five minutes ago. What are you, so, you, you're looking at a watch and you're not wearing one? No, I just go by time and nature, okay. brother. I am so right. in touch with the vibration or, of the earth. Or you could go off of the uh, Look at clock that. on your phone there. Huh? Or you could go off of the clock on your phone. Yeah, I could go on the phone. <laughs> Look at that. that. See, I was almost trained for Babylon, but there I don't think go. I've ever worn a watch in my life for what, a couple seconds. What's your first name? Uh, Ross Eibel, right here. This is better known, and that's not my legal name, but if you Google that, you'll see all my legal work. You'll see yeah. everything on there. Newspaper articles, there's some TV stuff and things like that. And so um, I tell all the policemen that when I see them. I say, no, Google you, this, it'll tell you more than FBI. You were a veteran, Ross? Yes, sir. You were in the U.S. Navy, I see? Yes, sir. Followed my father's footsteps, and my son followed me. And my mom was a combat veteran uh, from Pennsylvania here up in the Kinzu Dam area okay. yeah so half of my blood comes from here i'm dutch pennsylvania and uh, my daddy's from annapolis maryland and i grew up next to the naval academy right. and uh well we thank you for your service oh bless you guys man and thank All you right. for your dangerous job i couldn't do it no way i'd rather pull this house across america okay. and get hit by tractor trailers and chased by bears and cars and everything else and do your job <laughs> the right. human animal is probably the most dangerous we've got here on the planet people so just remember that and we got to like heal ourselves and everything and end this war uh, against prohibition we got a group leap here law enforcement against prohibition you can find them on facebook as well and there's many of us um who have joined and stuff my best friend was a police officer of baltimore city uh, before when he died and unfortunately i was in prison at the time uh, for three ounces of marijuana and they took my farm and left me homeless in west virginia and so this is the only thing i got left of the american dream after 18 years of building my own business and everything. They took, I lost everything for some medicine that I use. And um, so anyway, this is my house. I'm parking it next to the White House. And ladies and gentlemen on Facebook, please vote for the Green House because I'll be the closest neighbor to the president. There's no one else who can live any closer because I can pull this right up on the sidewalk. <laughs> and as close as the, um, uh, uh, what are, who guards them? Secret Service. Secret Service lets me, exactly. I've already seen Homeland Security and they give me approval already, so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ross. Well, listen, we'll, we'll stop back and check on you as long as you got somebody coming because, like I said, you're kind of in Oh, yeah, yeah. Door, I don't want so to be here. Look, if worse comes to worse, just get a couple of you guys and help me push it over here, or we can do that now if you want. I'll push no, it over on that well, street. I don't want to be pushing it out into the roadway here. Like I said, if you're, just, you're taking no, a break, yeah. and you, you got somebody coming. Yeah, we'll probably end up back in the truck where you are here yeah. somehow. Or well, what we'll do is Perfect. we'll pull it off the main road because there's a lot of traffic going this way, this way. We're getting paparazzi right now. Many curiosity seekers are out here taking pictures. Believe me, they thankfully the most of them have all ridden by, but we got a few grumpy old men making some disparaging comments. But look, look who's at the healthy senior citizen here while they're still in cars all bent over and stuff. No, I know the secret. The Mennonites right, are right. Russ, well, like I said, temporary is a key word. That's what we like. We got somebody coming for you, so. Yes, sir. Okay? All right, man. All right, good luck to yeah, you. Yeah, I'll do my best in that. I mean, if they don't show up, then millions of fans around the world are going to be mad at somebody. Well, yeah. Give me I gave it my best, all. That's all I know, folks. Yeah, basically. I love you. All right, if they say they're coming, then that'll work out for you, all right? All right, sir. God bless you. Are you the one with the key? Yes, I called 911 and the dispatcher called me back and said that they're sending someone out with the key. They're on their way to pick it up and then they're going to come back and unlock this gate 
so I could get on with my journey to Washington, D.C. I've done walk 4,000 miles, sir, in 17 months across the United States, and I'm tired, and I want to get to my destination. <laughs> and we got this one gate that's holding everything up. Yes, that's what she told me. She called me too and told me that. Okay. So okay. it's all good. No, I'm good. If you're good, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get something to eat because my sugar's falling and stuff. I'm sort of a diabetic, and I've, I've got enough food in there, but just the, the nervousness of it. I'm feeling trapped and stuff, man. I got PTSD, and I don't need to be feeling trapped and stuff. Yeah. So, but God bless you. Okay, I'll make sure somebody's on the way. Thank you, buddy. Man with the keys here. What, what's the story with this, my brother? So, these chicanes are put here to keep vehicles from getting on the trail. I understand. But how about custody of them? What goes on with that? Why, if someone was having a heart attack or hurt back here, man, that was four hours ago, I think, all this took place, five hours ago? Yes, EMS was supposed to uh, have keys to these locks. Who, the, the OO, oh, oh, the EMS? Yes. Emergency, mer Emergency services. And the police didn't even have none. Well, you would think they would have one too. We didn't actually build <coughs> Howdy. How you Good, what's going on? What's going on, buddy? This is uh, walking my home to Washington, D.C. Walking home to D.C. Yes, sir. You have some ID on you? Yeah, what did I do wrong? Neighbors, the, the, the uh, motors were, were concerned about you on the roadway. Oh really? Okay, yeah. so well, that's you. that's probable cause. We'll see. People should just Google my name like other people do, and they come, they can find out everything about me. But wow. just quit being lazy. You're walking. Good lord! Yeah. I have never seen such lazy people in my from? life. Let's go, folks, right here. You'll find out everything right there. So I've been stopped a hundred times today. Pictures taken. I'm tired. If you Google my name, you'll look at all the TV and newspaper stuff. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. So you're heading back home way, huh? That's right. If I get there, if I can get quit less than could lower it. I've been stopped over 200 something times. All these jurisdictions, How city, county. 17 months and 4,000 miles. I crossed North America with this machine. And I just get paparazzi to death, brothers. Believe me, I am sick and I'm tired and I can't wait to finish these last 300 miles so people quit. <laughs> Stopping me <laughs> here. This is stop number 55,025. <laughs> Take 15. And you know, folks, if I didn't get my ID, I guarantee they would hound the shit out of me, excuse my language, until I got out of their jurisdiction, or I'd be on my way to jail. Believe that. That's America, but it's okay because you know. That's you. It's up to you people to change it. I'm just showing you what's out here, everybody. God bless. You know it. Hey, right back at you there, bud. <laughs> right on. Oh, I do selfies with police and everything. Trust me. They've given me donations and money and helped my journey. You built this yourself? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, it's all on Facebook. If you Google my name, Rass Eibel, right there, it'll come up and you can go through all my photographs and videos. I've got thousands and thousands from then, from 17, almost 18 months in this journey. This thing pretty heavy carrying this? 560 pounds, but you can read all that on the articles and TV show and all that stuff. I'm going to start charging a dollar a question, <laughs> unless I did something wrong. Because I got plenty of lights and, and lots of rights to take my church to Washington. What do you do if you get a flat tire? I fix it. I have an uh, air pump and all that. Yes, sir. I can last two weeks without even seeing anybody if I want it. But I'm on a mission. So I got to get home. <laughs> Woohoo! And what department are you guys with? Just so my people know. Port, port something. Where am I? Port. Who are you guys with? Oh, okay. Port vibe. View, borough, and Liberty Borough. 
Well, I don't know, probably pretty crazy, but... No warrants, nothing like that, people. What's but that? Oh, I'm just telling my fans, thousands around the world, I have no warrants on me, anything like that. Well, that's good. You don't mind if I take a couple photographs of your ride here, do you? No, go ahead, help yourself. Okay. I got y'all's picture. We don't we don't come across something like this too often, so. Oh. Well, hopefully this will be the wave of the future. This is going to be uh, to replace the automobile one day because they're killing our planet, they're killing the animals, uh, our, our civilization. People are getting out of shape, lazy. It's the biggest reason for our health care cost because everybody is too easy. Life is too easy. We got to go back to the horse and buggies. My little invention here, what I created, and. Uh, when this is mass produced, it'll only weigh like 90 pounds and it'll be a total survival unit. These things will go in the water. You can paddle them away. Uh, they're solar powered, AC, DC wired. I've got a cooler, stove. Uh, this one here sleeps too. This is my West Virginia double wide. But if you go on Facebook, you'll be able to see all my pictures and stuff like that. Yep. And the next officers, can you tell them down the road to bring some coffees and donuts if they stop me next time, please? Because <laughs> I eat like a horse. This is not easy to do. I pay for it with my SSI money and uh, put it right back into charity. I could go up in the hills and smoke marijuana and never come out if I wanted in some legal states, but I don't choose to. I want to show that our medicine works. I don't take nothing from the VA, and I'm breaking world records. I was supposed to be crippled and have to do narcotics. Well, guess what? This kid ain't doing no narcotics and none of that. They ain't giving me hooked because all my friends are dying and dead. You were in the military before. Yes, I was. Yeah, I come from a combat veteran family. My mama was a combat veteran nurse from here in Pennsylvania. So I'm half Dutch Pennsylvania, up by the Kinzoo Dam. This thing's heavy, ain't it? Well, be careful. Oh, it's, not, it's not heavy, it's light. See? I know you got insurance, but I don't have any. <laughs> you guys get hurt. I don't have insurance in this. So anyway, did you give me my ID back yet? yet? I'm making sure. Okay. Make sure you're good. He's you're making sure life. that I'm an American citizen. I was born in blood. You can have my DNA is already in the bank. They got that from me um, when I went to prison for 15 years for three ounces of marijuana. Yep, took my farm, left me homeless. So this is all I have left of the American dream. Woohoo! So I'm parking it next to the White House. So we'll have a greenhouse and a White House. And uh, vote for the greenhouse here because this one brings peace and is going to heal our nation. <laughs> so what's next after Washington? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to let Lord Jesus decide that for me. He takes the wheel. I don't know. All I know is I, I committed myself 17 months ago and 4,000 miles of the journey, so I'm going to complete it, and uh, then I'll just take it from there. Here, I'm going to save my battery juice back here. There you go. Turn my flashers off. What do you all think at home? Because you know you're going to leave comments and stuff. But please be nice. <laughs> Well, am I free to go yet? Come on, man. My muscles. I'm like a horse. I don't have to re-all stretch again. Especially my piriformis and hamstrings. I'm making sure, mate. Make sure you want it, you'll be out of here. Like you can't catch me. Like you can't catch... You hear that, folks? I can only go 11 miles an hour on the interstate with a tailwind catching up in a tractor-trailer vortex convoy. But out here, no. Go ahead. Right? You're on your way. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, man. God bless you. All right, man. I'm going, B. If I, don't, if I disappear, you look for these guys right here, all right? Peace. We love you. Protect me, Jesus. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told here that I'm not going to be able to proceed anymore. Um, and, of course, they're wrong, trying to tell me this, this here is not set up for it, for transportation of a vehicle, when you all know and have seen thousands of images and pictures of people and uh, what I've posted on worse trails than this. This is probably one of the finest in the world, and they've capitalized it, and if you're not rich and don't have money, then you're not allowed on it. So here we are, and you've seen the corporation in charge of it. I want you people to see all this out there and make sure that you boycott, go after your politicians, and get them for this. This is wrong, America. You think your pleasure overrides homeless people? Wrong Well, good, buddy. I've been as nice as I can be. Sometimes Jesus had to flip a few tables and bind a cord, too. So remember that. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm done playing, people. I've been as nice and kind as I can. But how much can a man take? I'm just a few hundred miles from this journey, and then these knuckleheads want to try to bust up on us with their rich corporation bullshit. Help me end it now, folks. Now. God bless you all, and have a wonderful day. Woohoo! This is a uh, walkable house. You're the first Maryland officer to stop me, but I've traveled all these states and I just uh, made a world record walking it across North America. You walked this thing? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. This is my hometown and I've been away for 18 years and I just walked back. I've been doing it for 18 months. Hey, everybody on Facebook. And uh, yeah, I just pick it up. I've just put the back legs down, but you just pick it up and walk with it. You can Google my name right here, Ras Eibel, and it'll come up on Facebook and TV and newspapers and everything. I'm going to park it next to the White House, and um, that's where I'm going to live for a minute to protest about cannabis prohibition and uh, homelessness for veterans. I was a homeless veteran. Both my parents are combat vets, and um, it's just no one should be homeless. I mean, this little walkable house, you know, I'm no longer homeless. I don't feel it. I've got a roof on my head. And um, I've got a little kitchen and stove and bathroom. I'd move it around for you, but but you'll see pictures. Just go to my Facebook page. So yeah, I'm here, and I'm gonna rest tonight, and then I'll get back on the towpath, and I'll head back down to um, DC in the morning. So yeah, if everything's cool with you guys, man, I'm glad to be home. They left me homeless, took my farm and everything in West Virginia. And um, I lost my cows and chickens and everything I built with my hands, my American dream. And this is all I got left of it. <laughs> this is all I got left after 18 years of work. But I'm blessed, I'm still happy, and uh, we're going to end prohibition. Try to anyway. But God bless you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen on Facebook, we've got the police here and uh, part of the Secret Service Uniform Division, and we're in front of the White House. And for all my Facebook group fans around the world, you all know what's up. So here I am, and sir, what was your question? I was just wondering if I could get, like, your name. Okay, he wants my name. Uh, my legal name is Lawrence Edward Seibel. My birth date is 10... 658. That's what they need to check people to see if there's any warrants or anything like that on you. And I can sure you not. Yes, my telephone number is no, three. Sos. Oh. I'll give you what you want, brother. See, because I don't have nothing to hide. I'm an American citizen. Do you have any ID, though? Yes, I do. Uh, but tell me why you need it, if it's okay. It's just because we're part right here from the White House. And it's got a structure. And All right. Yeah, I'm going to be cooperative with the man here because I don't want to be shot. So <laughs> let me get my. Uh, we're not. Same as oh, I know, brother. I know. I've been stopped more times than. Look, I've been stopped over 200 times by police. Uh -huh. 200 times in my journey across America. And uh, here we got some more in here. Did, did you have a social not? Excuse me. Did you have a social not? A what is social security number? Oh, well, I don't think I have to reveal that. You have enough information there. I won't give you my social security number from all these people. All right. I ain't never been asked that before. We got the gloves on. This is a tactic of intimidation. They put the gloves on. We got TV cameras here, so that's good. Protesting. Uh, yes, I'm a homeless veteran and I walked across America and I'm coming here to set up a protest and I'd like to know the legal way about it. Uh, you have to get a permit because this is a national permit. Okay, well he didn't know there. Okay. Um, what, if you go down onto Pennsylvania Avenue. Yes. Where's Pennsylvania? Over this way? Uh, no, Pennsylvania Avenue is the street in front of me. Okay, and then what, what should I do there? You don't need a permit. Oh, okay. Hello. Take pictures, please record all this. Me paying around here. An amazing journey. 
18 months I've been walking. Oh, wow. Yeah. 18, 18 months and over 4,000 miles. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm just, I give all the glory to Jesus. Yes, sir. There are bollards to make sure vehicles don't come onto Pennsylvania Avenue because it's been shut down for a while. Uh huh. I don't know that you're going to be able to fit that. And to see how. Yeah, I saw those. I don't think I can get through those. That's why I didn't even try. Well, and those are on 15th and 17th Street as well. So huh. the issue is this is a national park. You need a permit. Okay. Um, and I don't think you're going to be able to get on the avenue because it's bollards. Well, how about on these corners over here then? Those are like fun. On, how about that over there in front of that the building there? What's that? Is that, that yeah, that's yeah. the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, I can stay off to the side so people can get around. This is just yes. an oversized hey, bicycle. No, no, I understand. As long as you're not impeding pedestrian exactly. traffic. Oh, I work with, fine. yeah, oh yeah, I work with, so, with um, pedestrians all the time. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, so this is an I'm surprised problem. you guys didn't know, man. You're the first police I have really run into since I got off the towpath. But, and then I talked to the Maryland State Police. He was in plain clothes, nice gentleman, Sam. <clears throat> but I told him, I figured he put out the word for me, you know, to let everybody know about what I'm doing. I've been stopped over 200 times, but every agency in the world. I bet you the Secret Service has even been inside here before. Probably CIA, too. Anyway, God bless you guys. I'm closing out here, heading across the street, guys. And that's how you do things. Peace. <laughs> going, sir? You too, guys. Bye-bye. Woo! Now, they're talking about, I guess, what they should do with me. The Secret Service were already here and told me to move across the street and uh, that I could legally park here without a permit or anything. So I don't know why they're harassing me. This is the Chamber of Commerce, the people that control the money uh, that put us homeless veterans out in the streets. So we're going to find out here. I've already posted a story now. So the TV stations are on the way right now. They'll be down here any minute. So, so let's get ready. It'll all be filmed tonight and hopefully uploaded on national TV. What's going on, my brother? Okay, now what's going on? They got the gloves on. This is usually a tactic they do. Go ahead. Oh, I know, brother. I got some too, but go ahead. I was just talking to my Facebook group around the world. Okay. Hey, look at Hey, freedom of speech. Nice buggy, though. Okay. But on the issue is, you know what property this is, right? It's public property, I assume. That's. Okay. Can you get a oh, I've got all that. Everybody knows I'm here. The TV stations are on the way. Okay, but listen, let me out. I want you to get a, a camera shot of Oh, that. I got it, brother. Go ahead. What's your story? So Tell me. Story is, what do you want me to do? Okay, hold on. Hear me out. So, again, by that being the Chamber of Commerce of the United States of America, this is their domain. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm with you. Oh, you Oh yeah, I'm with you, brother. So the thing is, yeah, they want you and your thing right here. Yes. If you just, you know, I don't know if you want to park it down there or go across the street. No, that's their building. Well, I can't go across the wheat, the street. The White House just sent me over here. So we got the White House sending me over here, and the Chamber of Commerce sent me over here. All right. So what do we do, people? All right. What? Let me go talk to the White House. Thank you, right brother. Back. God bless you. There you go, folks. All right. Okay, we're back. You heard it live here from Ras Ibel in Washington, D.C. 18 months and 4,000 miles, folks. We're here. Woohoo! Peace up and out. Okay, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What's the story? I 
got a gentleman here that wants. Oh, I think you had a question. You know? Oh, okay. I thought. Did you all find your information? Yeah. I guess you just want to look. Oh. Okay. Okay. So here we go. And your name is? I didn't get it. Ross Ibels, right here on the door. Okay. Ross. I'm Officer Smith. I want to shake Please. Pleased to meet you, sir. Pleased to meet you, sir. Okay. So. What is it that we can help you with? What is it that um, we can do? Nothing. Uh, probably, I don't know. I'm not going to stay here long. The TV station's supposed to be here in a few minutes, and they're going to cover this story. Okay. And then from there, I'm probably going to find a place to park tonight. Okay. And um, if you want to recommend someplace safe where I won't be molested and all, I would appreciate it. I'll tell you what. Let's work with each other. Now, let's talk about uh, Chamber of Commerce. Now, just like you were stating earlier when we came up, you got this government building. We all know it's a government building. So what they think and what they look at is, you know, like, hey, now, technically, from Well, look, 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 brother, save me some time, because look, look, I, I'm going to leave here in a few minutes. Oh, and you I'm, are. I'm, I get it, I'm going to go against their lawyers and stuff. Okay. You know, I know I'm a very good jailhouse lawyer. Right, I'm right. the most notorious in West Virginia. They don't know what you're dealing with here. But anyway, let me deal with their lawyers and stuff. Okay. I'm going to be leaving here in about one hour. Okay. I'm waiting for the TV crew to get here. They're on their way to Fox okay. News. Well, here's the thing. If you possibly can. Yes. Like I said, the flower bed up is pretty much... That's why I'm parked in this little alcove. So, so I'm what, out of the way. I agree. But now I'll tell you what. Yes. Since we got all this space, let's, let's film down here. You yes. Got all this space down here. If it's okay with you. Uh, yes. Is that possible that you could be like between Oh, the absolutely. Side? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. If that's okay with you. Yes, sir. You park right there and you wait on the news cameras and when they come. Oh, yeah, right on, brother. I, I, I can't watch. You can even watch me move it. You want to hold the camera and film me? I'll I, I film it. All right, thank you. Watch your fingers. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we don't want that to happen to you. Hey, Ross. Hey, if you want, ask that man if he's willing to help. Are you willing to help? Are you willing to help? No. Oh, okay. No mind. He good. I, I mean, you were there. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, Smith, nope. Come on. Yeah. I walked this across North America by myself. Did you really? Yes, sir. Man, you, you're a good guy. Very well, and I'm six, almost 60 years old. Oh, wow. Hey, man, you're a good help. So, uh, is that, yeah, you put it right here. You can you're join good me on guy. Facebook. My name is Ras Ivel. Okay. And uh, you can Google my name. It will come up in lots of TV and newspaper stuff. Okay. And you can actually watch me racing tractor trailers with this. <laughs> Yeah. Say it ain't so. Look, I got 4,000 miles. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Put that link over here a little bit. Cause yeah. And uh, that way, if, if a car jumps the curb, it'll hit that yeah. sign. There you go, before it hits you, right? Yeah, you I've said? already been hit before. No, oh, wow. Okay. I've been chased by crazy people. Oh, man, that ain't good. Truck all right. Addicts. What? Yeah, you wait. Look at my Facebook page. I'm okay. I'm all documented. I'm doing a book. Oh, and man. A movie. And all okay. that good stuff. Okay. So, John Rastafari, and thank you, everybody. You Mr. Well. Smith. All right. <laughs> See, wasn't that cool, everybody? We can have peace in this world. Always. I love you guys. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Another happy ending, everybody. Peace up and out. Rass Abel reporting from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Woohoo! All right, I'm recording now. Go ahead and tell me what you said, okay, sir. So you can't be on the National Mall without having a permit for this event, for this right here. Okay, so, I understand. So the National Mall, as far as you're covering the mm -hmm. this sidewalk of Constitution. Yes. This sidewalk of Independence. Third Street. By the U.S. Capitol, Third Street? No. Yes, yes. Well, they need to put up, like, barriers here and let people well, know. That won't happen. That won't happen. Well, I'm letting you know now. You hear this, people? I come from a combat veteran family. And this is how they treat us veterans who serve our country. Well, I'm a veteran too as well. Oh, see, so they use this as an excuse. They use other veterans to mistreat other veterans and it makes it okay. But I'm leaving. Gotcha. I'm leaving. But I just want to make sure this is known to the world, people, that this is your true America. God bless you. Rass Ibel, peace up. Yes, sir. Pardon? No, but I'm pretty much sure I'm going across the street over there on that sidewalk. And I'm sure that's legal. That's not even legal over on that sidewalk? That's Smithsonian property. So I guess I'll just stay in the streets and just keep running my vehicle then, right? 
Is that what you're telling me? That I can't rest as a human being, as a basic right? That people's, um, that people's pleasure override a human's basic right to life. Is that what you're telling me, please? You can go to the city streets. Huh? Go on to the city streets. i say that again. City streets. You got to go on the city streets. I have to go on the city street. Well, show me where a city street is. This is Parkland. This is Parkland. Okay. Well, show me where the city street is. Let's go. Come on. Please follow me. You're going to show me where a city street is? All right, let's go, people. Yeah, they're just making my life miserable. That's all right, because see, thousands of people around the world are filming this and watching this atrocity. A man can't even sit in peace and, and have a decent meal uh, and can't even pray in peace. Yeah, this is your America. It's time to fuck up, people. God bless you. I'm sorry for having to report all this, but someone's got to do their duty and get these people. One love, y'all. Here we go again. What can I do for you guys? Good. What can I do for you? Conceived in a tree Born in a campfire Mama was kent up Bonnie Parker Man, Papa was a live wire Baptized in sin Sinners got no choir, just us broke down hustlers singing cuss words round the fire. Damn me if it isn't raining, buckets on my bag of blues. Police came along to move me along, I was leasing up my shoes. He asked me where I came from and why I smelled of booze. I spit rock and rye in his prying eye and I told him the truth. In a tree, born in a campfire. Mama was kent up Bonnie Parker, man, Papa was a live wire. Baptized in sin, sinners got no choir. Just us broke down hustlers singing cuss words round the fire.